Whoops, hello everyone. Welcome back. I hope you're all doing well today. Playing some more Wabashat because I am actually very determined to get this list out there for everyone. And I've been having a lot of fun. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's just get right into playing. I actually don't know what the plan is today. Oh, I actually was going to add Winter Sun so I could do some, some Hercene stuff as well. Yeah, we'll see. I'm just having fun today. <laughs> All right. I might go grab this sky shard really quick. I did have to restart the character, of course. That's going to happen quite frequently, so I do apologize for that, but I try to do my best. I'm loving all the new sounds. They're kind of loud, so I'll fix that really quick. Hello, Viceart. Hope you're doing well today. And hello, Eugenia. How are you? I'm doing okay today. <laughs> I have plenty of water. Just had some dinner myself. And I think I've added about 50 or so mods today. I started messing around in X-Edit finally. So we're getting there. We're getting there, okay? The first thing I want to do actually is turn down the rapids. I added audio overhaul, Skyrim audio overhaul, so I have a bunch of new different, like, you know, I just have a bunch of different new options, which is so cool. American? Yes. What's up, Sal? And hello, Dexter. What's up, Ren? How you doing today? Oh, that's still kind of loud, actually. I'm just going to turn the jump sounds off for now. Gave up on compiling for today. I'm sorry to hear that. That can be kind of rough, I'm sure. I am not looking forward to it. But at the same time, I, I think I can get through it. I know it's going to be frustrating, but I'll be all right. Oh, whoops, I turned it back on. There we go. Much better. Okay, sweet. Okay, I have to fix the sound thing, but that's alright. Character looks very cute. Well, thank you, Dexter. I actually just put her on the Nexus. So if you type in Runa Snowbane, you'll actually find her now, which is super cool. Dealing with something weird with it, not recognizing BSAs with a lot of mods. Interesting. See, I wonder if Nico would know anything about that. I'm not gonna lie, I do have Dr. Pepper today. It's pretty good. Hmm, I wonder if that's actually gonna be controlled through magic sounds now. That's probably it. Turn the horse steps down. This one. Yep, perfect, okay. That is actually really nice. I like it. I'm also testing out static skill again. What else? I did- oh, I fixed Yans. So now all of the starting skills start at 5 instead of 1. And then you do have some bonuses based off of race that you choose. But it's only just a few levels on each one, which is super cool. I think it's perfect. Hey, what's up, Ander? Just playing some Wabashot today, testing things, trying to fix as much as we can currently. I still have to look into that one. I wonder if it's the option that I chose for base object swapper. I don't know. That and the butterflies I can't get to work with the animations. What's up, Joseph? How you been?
character outfit looks super good. Yeah, that's the the Riders. Excuse me, that's Riders dragonfly robes. And actually, like I said, with my with the preset, I uploaded her to the Nexus, and I put a link to the armor there too. So I think it works perfect for specifically her you know i designed this character kind of around the the dragonfly robes oh the hands on the hip those are things that i still need to fix but those are pretty female idols which are nice i definitely agree oh right in the the rear <laughs> hey what's up sword man how are you doing So I've added the diverse animals. I've added Animalica, lore-friendly version, anyway. Although I didn't realize that rhinos were lore-friendly. <laughs> yeah, really interesting. I mean, they're cool. I don't know if I actually want to keep them, though. They're kind of cute. She just runs away. Okay, that's fine. Rhinos and ESO. Yeah, I don't know. It had a specific name, but that's really strange. Last month three. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't really want them. The rest of them, that's totally fine. But this guy, he's... He's probably not going to stay. Although he's not... You know, aggressive, so. I mean, we are a hunter. We might as well hunt. <laughs> the rhinos are so shy. I guess that's a good thing, though. They're pretty high leveled, so they probably kick my butt. actually quite a few things today quite a few speaking of which let's go check out the mud crabs yeah they're actually all different colors and stuff now which is cool So added true storms. I've been adding a lot of stuff. Bunch of NPC replacers, which I have to test today. Because I'm still kind of new to the whole NPC replacers thing. It's not something I usually do as great of detail as I am now. So easy NPC is my friend, hopefully. And I've obviously been taking all of the suggestions from Ren. So thank you for that. Different wolves? Hell yeah. The de-skinned flesh? I think I can actually make it so that doesn't happen. I think there's an option for it. I honestly don't really mind. I grew up in Montana, so I see that stuff in real life, you know? I guess in the game it's it could be a little bit weird though too, you know? I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight. You looks good. If you'll excuse me. Mm -hmm. Not rough enough, though. Needs a little more dirt. A little more grime. Let's see how the aim is today. Crosshair off. I hear a bunch of them above my head. Okay. More targets. Good, good, good. That was actually- okay, I was gonna say, that looked like it was on. That was off. Oh, okay. I guess it counts. Terrible shot. What was I thinking?
Now that was a good shot. Who needs crosshairs, right? so beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm just enamored with this game. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but it feels right. <sighs> hey, Alice, how's it going? The world looks so good, right? That's what I was just saying. I was like, wow, it looks, it just looks beautiful today. It's like a hunter's paradise. <laughs> Very nice sunset. Agreed. Sorry. I really think true storms helps complement obsidian weathers as well. Oh, okay. Well, that's something we got to figure out. I think I've seen that a lot in regular Skyrim. But it doesn't mean that it's necessarily a, a vanilla bug. I've seen that happen quite a bit, though. So <laughs> that's how you imagine Hersey's hunting grounds to look, right? How's it going, Amali? How is it going, Amali? Sorry. I speak too fast sometimes. Which monster am I? Mothra? Hydra? Godzilla? Or the lobster monster? Hmm. Good question. I like Mothra, but lobster monster also sounds good. What's up, queen? Lunchtime? Ooh, lunch is good. Let's see if I can... Ow! Okay, you know what? You're cute. But I would rather not die from you. Sorry, buddy. Hey, what's up, Deal? Just scored an insane mammoth kill, right? Okay. So it works on these ones, too. I, you know, I might get rid of that. I can't decide. If enough people don't want me to keep this, I can always get rid of it. And, uh, yeah. Hope you're doing well tonight, Deal. Not a monster. Skyrim has turned me into a monster. A modding monster. I'm doing pretty well, Queen. Thanks for asking. The wolves are too cute to kill. I wish I didn't have to. I guess I don't have to. I could tame them. Oh, hello. Nope. No. Bad doggy. Nope. Bad dog. Okay. I did not see the bear in the dark. That's why it's not a good idea to go hunting in the dark. Do I play D&D or other Chi RPGs? No, actually I don't. We were talking about D&D last night in stream, and I mentioned maybe playing Baldur's Gate 3, so that might be the, a good introduction for me, I suppose, to get into D&D. Well, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I got carried away. Can we get him? Ooh, that was a good shot. No, kill cam though? What the heck? You have a dungeon to kill? A bit of work? Hey, thank you so much, queen. Have a great night. Your whole party is losers. It's a ridiculous game, but you love it. I definitely should try it. I know a lot of people are into it, so... I know Icarus, I think, has been talking about playing it. Or he has been playing it, so... It's also multiplayer, from what I hear, so that could actually be a really good game to play. For, like, collab streams and stuff. So something with Cathedral Flowers base object swapper version maybe and the spy rallies butterflies do not give me the proper animations but everything else seems to work great but 
Don't mind me, just testing some FPS currently. Oh, I think the moose are actually aggressive. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that. I think they're only aggressive if you, you know, taunt them. Otherwise, they're pretty chill. So not super aggressive. Played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 as a kid growing up. That's how long you waited for a sequel? Well, hey, I'm glad you got your sequel. And I, I'm glad that it seems to be enjoyable. So yeah, they're not super aggressive, which is cool. I don't know why. Things seem a little interesting today. Hey, what's up, Michael? In the moments life is given, a chance to start again. In memories we hold dear, love's gentle, sweet refrain. In times of grace we're given, or sorry, in times of grace we're forgiven, letting go of the past pain. And happiness will soar on life's eternal flame. That's beautiful. Thank you for joining tonight. This is looking great. Appreciate it. Well, I hope you have yourself a nice evening. Or morning. Depends on where you're at, I guess. Hmm. I kind of wonder if anything is running in the background. Oh, that definitely was what it was. Okay, perfect. Good to know. It's evening, gotcha. I mean, we have so many different time zones. There are people that live in different time zones that are here. It's kind of like, you never know, right? <laughs> could be evening, could be any time of the day or night, which is crazy. Hey, what's up, RM? 617? Hey, that's the same time I'm at right now. I don't know how I feel about these guys. They're cute, though. It seems... Actually, it kind of seems like a perfect spot for them to be in is the tundra. It's 517. Nice. Southwest represent. I'm sure some people are going to be happy to see Anna Malika in the list. It, it really just fits my style, so... It's just one of those must-have mods. Although I don't know if there's... Like, a Fluffworks patch. I was literally just wondering that. I don't think I got the Fluffworks patch for it. Well, we're gonna have to go fix that. Gotta play the second one still. Um. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, the jackal. So rude. Leave me alone. I warned ya. Breaking news. Local elf murderers creatures. Wait, who did them no harm, not even for food. Okay. 
Jeez. You're talking about me? <laughs> That's not very nice. They're attacking me too. I do take the food though. I may be a little distracted, but I usually do take the food and the pelts. But hello, Vulpix Tales. I promise. I do it for the hunt. Oh, it's a wolf pelt. Okay. Yes, then. Yeah, you guys are talking about things I have no idea. Must be happy about some characters being in the game. Do we have the paraglider? Oh, no paraglider. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some interesting names, though. Mince. It's a silly lad. Just chill like I know. Well, either way, I hope you're doing well today. Just not another foot. Well, I appreciate that. All in good fun, right? Ooh, let's go. Why do I keep shooting them in the butt? <laughs> Forgive me. Guess baby got back. What's up, Fiona? The quest timers got you so bad? The quest timers... Oh, you must be still talking about BG3. I thought you were talking about in Skyrim. I was like, oh, what? Oh, it's updating. Wait, updating is a pain? Why is that? My wife updated to 1.6. Hope you're having a good evening. You as well, Fiona. Thank you. Let's test the level up. Hmm. Still broken. Why can't I even do that? Yeah, that's super weird. Anyways. <laughs> Alright. Well, we still need to fix static skill leveling. And I might go add Winter Sun because I forgot to do so. Do have one idea actually could not recreate the issue hey thanks nico i kind of figured you were gonna stream i did see what was going on in the discord a little bit super strange i don't know why people would be having t pose slash a pose issues they say helgen got hit by a dragon one of those i never had that with the nico experience the I personally never had that. Not increasing the skills when you were using it. I'm having weird multiplier issues with it. I like the way Biggie has it set up in lore rim, so I'm guessing it's one of those things I'm gonna have to patch. Unless it's just set up through the I and I, which in that case I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's conflicting with like Vogue Renator or one of the perk things. Whoa, what? Interesting. Yeah, I think it's conflicting with the perk overhauls, potentially. 
Maybe it doesn't touch those records, though, so... I don't know. Something to look into. Because I do like that mod. I do want to keep it, so... One person has? Yeah. I don't know. I don't understand. I wonder if they... I, I'm not assuming, but I'm wondering if they modified the list at all. So I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to patch it myself since there's a patch for Ordinator, not for Bokri. Maybe, Ellen. <laughs> Wonder if green packed means no eating veggies. Does it mean being a vegan in Tamriel? With the red packed just wait what? I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> this is I'm sorry, this is just really beautiful. Wow. Holy moly. Oh my gosh, I'm just like overload. Oh my gosh, Nico, thank you. <laughs> well, congratulations, everyone who got a membership. Thanks, Nico. Never give up your veggies? Me neither. I love my veggies too much. That is pretty. So true. You know what made it even more pretty? True storms, I think. Because it did not look like this before I added true storms. Unless I'm just crazy. Zombie did too. <laughs> yeah, Yum Gum one got one too, yeah. Can you hear it? Is it too loud? You need a Gumi emote? Is it Gumi or Gummy? I don't know. <laughs> hey, congrats Lucy. Hope you're doing well tonight. It would be a shame if a vampire showed up, right? It would be a shame. Needs to be louder? Okay. I just don't want it to be too loud. I actually just fixed, because I couldn't figure out why the sound wasn't coming through for y'all. I'll turn it up a little bit more. I don't want it to get too crazy loud. The subscriptions can get too loud. It's going to be a big adjustment, so if things get too loud, I'm sorry. Uh, I will do more testing off stream, though, too, to get it to the perfect level. Because I just don't want it to be too loud, you know? <laughs> Moose, run! No, actually, they're kind of aggressive, so they'll attack back. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the moose don't mess around. <laughs> Goes all the way to 11. It's one louder. Uh, why are so many still hung up on Serana? I don't know. I honestly don't get the Serana thing either. I like Serana, but I don't I don't really understand the I, I don't even know what to call it. People really like Serana. I don't know. <laughs> but I suppose I really like Ayla when it comes down to it. They like Laura Bailey. That's that makes more sense. That makes a lot of sense. Spinal tap? It doesn't sound familiar. It goes all the way up to 11. It's one louder. Yeah, it doesn't sound familiar. I wish it did, though. We're just hunting currently. Don't mind me. Dang it, I'm gonna have to patch Vocrenator. With static skill leveling, probably. That was an Akaviri wolf. I can't believe how crazy easy it was to edit. You are not special. 
It's so cool seeing all of them at level 5 instead of 1. I think that's a perfect start. Now if I could just fix static skill leveling. She's got that Riz. <laughs> it's a movie about a band. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> Aloy is a great character. She's unique in so many ways. They almost broke the mold except for this prize in Forbidden West. I need to play those games. That would be a good game to play on stream, I think, actually. Well, what's up, Gears? How you doing? That sound has happened before. I think there's a broken sound file. It's okay. Need to do both Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. Oh, for sure. For sure. They're both on PC now, I think, so I would not mind playing them both. A couple of your favorite games besides Skyrim. I know a lot of people probably would like to watch that one. That one, BG3, and... Oh, we were speaking about another game, too. I cannot remember what it's called, though. Oh yeah, I watched my wife play Horizon Zero Dawn and a little bit of Forbidden West. She loves those games. Stream the Final Fantasy VII Remake? I've never played Final Fantasy before. Never even gotten into those games. So many things. Ow, that hurt. Mike, is your face still broken? Please tell me it's not still broken. Yep, it's still broken. God damn. Oi. This the bandit killer guy. He hope he comes back in Forbidden West. All right, now I'm now I'm lost. <laughs> I'm just gonna play Skyrim. Yes, Witcher. Well, Witcher Three isn't really on the list. Ocarina of Time would come first second channel. It already exists. Actually, believe it or not, people don't know about it. I just need to go get games and play them over there. See what happens. Kind of testing out all the weathers right now, so I'm sorry if it's a little dark. I kind of like it this dark, though. Seems like a true nighttime dark. I think the skies look really good. Honestly, just surprised with how true storms actually improved things for my my eyes. I can already tell. <laughs> Complete Valheim? I don't even think I've heard of Valheim. we help him? Oh, a bandit archer? Uh-oh. Nice shot. 
Nice shot. Don't hit the giant. Otherwise, that will happen. Let's see, can we shoot him? Whoops, I missed. Dang it. I kept letting go. <laughs> he went flying. Jeez. It's amazing with a few mods. Hmm. Ocarina of Time first through. I'm not sure how I'm going to stream Ocarina of Time. I wonder if I'm going to need a capture card. I don't know. I haven't figured out how I'm going to stream Ocarina of Time. I own it. Hmm. Play some ESO. Yeah, ESO hasn't really piqued my interest as of late since I've been modding Skyrim so heavily, but I do love it. Oh! I was not expecting that. I want to get rid of all of the magic lighting. And I know where to start, so... So many more wolves! It's kind of cool. Be an Irish short tomorrow. Maybe. Okay, well, a bobcat's a different story. Well, he's not that strong, thankfully. Jeez. Sorry I keep flipping the camera around so much. I'm trying to get better at not doing that. Something I was gonna do, it completely went over my head. New world, had some PvP but not much else. You know what I left to stream is RuneScape. You need a sub for it to be a good experience. Oh, talking about ESO? I know some people like it, some people don't like it. Probably just comes down to personal preference, right? Just gotta try it and see. Oh, hello. The gargoyles have to go to. Dang it, Mara Loot. Hi, please don't fight me. Hey, I'm just standing here. Y'all are the one that came around me. You move along. You're lucky I don't want to start a fight right now. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I was gonna say, I know where it comes from, but it's gotta go bye-bye. I just keep forgetting to take it out. Who's attacking? What the hell? In your blood. Yeah, a little too aggressive, huh? A little too aggressive. It's always those, like, move along. Those guys are always way too aggressive. Or Chupacabra. I'm really trying not to die, but things keep kicking my ass. Alright. Let's try this again. <laughs> it's because I get so many so distracted with so many different mod things in my head and I'm talking to chat. And then I'm trying to play the game too, so I'm just I'm dying. I'm dying so much lately. <laughs> I have no one to blame but myself. But I'm gonna make excuses, dang it. You're playing ESO for the quest? Mm -hmm. See, that right there gets rid of some of the flashy lights. I just need to get rid of, I think, MCO lights. And this condition needs to be changed too. Definitely need to start working in OAR a little bit. Pro tip, don't die. I will definitely try. Everyone at Elder Scrolls seems a bit racist. Kind of seems that way, right? Everybody hates each other. 
Can't we all just get along? Because of the sea inside the earth and the sky. I feel like there's quite a bit of content with ESO too. If you're looking for more from the Elder Scrolls, I guess. I'm pretty content with Skyrim at the moment, so... I should play ESO. I'm pretty sure like 90% of my energy right now is going into the Wabajack. Drop some back of goodies. ESO's on Game Pass? Ooh, that's cool. I mean, I own ESO. I bought it for like $5 or $10 on sale. Hey, Nico, thank you so much again. Another five members. Nobody that I recognize in the stream right now, though, unfortunately, but congratulations, everyone. And thank you again, Nico. Here. It's gonna do. Yeah, see, it's it'll get too loud, though. That's the problem. Let me know if it's too loud. The other sounds can get really loud though, so I have to fix those. Just in case I die, I'm saving. Oh my gosh. Yep, like I said, just in case I die, of course, as soon as I do that. Here, I'll TGM for now. Sorry, chat. Just checking something really quick. Still gonna turn it down a few clicks because I just turn it up on the other thing. Otherwise, it should be good. And as long as the other two aren't too loud. Sorry, I know I'm just getting mauled by by animals right now. But this is important too. I don't want things to be too loud. Don't want to jump scare y'all. The super chat one I know is pretty loud too. I want the red bird to be the loudest. <laughs> okay, that should be nice and adjusted now. Rock joint speed run, right? Well, it's a good thing I know where some some hawk feathers are. Did I get rock joint? Probably. I didn't get rock joint at all from that. How? What? So lucky. Fingers twisty. <laughs> that alert is amazing. Yeah, I love the the red verb. Gummy or Gumi. I don't know how you say his name, but he's cute. I know we we talked about the pronunciation of it yesterday. Aw, oh, rats. I was hoping to, you know. Oh, the archer is gonna destroy me. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I should be attempting these places anymore. Oh, I'm TGM too. Well, that just doesn't count. Gumi? Okay. <laughs> Got 
gotcha. <laughs> What? Ward actually blocks that? Nice block, actually. Arrow to the knee, exactly. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do the faster spiders. No heart attacks for me, thank you. Found you first! I can take you. You sure? Ooh, that is just so good. Yeah! I swear I'll kill you. And try. Oh. Yep, that's right. Line it up. It's cool looking backpack. I think we might be able to get this one done. <laughs> we'll see. I turned slow your roll off, but I might I might use it as a template and edit it just a little bit because I want the experience to go a little bit quicker, but I almost feel like it's too fast the way it is with experience. Outlander should learn to not wander where they don't Dude, you just straight they don't up jumped kill. down. That was like some that was something amazing. That jump was awesome. I'll have your toes cut off. Come on. Or she has a butcher mask on. That's exactly what that is. Ah. For blood. For glory. I see you. Ooh. Ultimate arachnophobia. Oh gosh. Honestly, my arachnophobia has gotten better thanks to Skyrim, but still, still kind of scary. It's so frustrating. Actually, I might I might know how to fix that. Never mind. I've just figured it out, I think. Doesn't this have an MCM? Brutality models. Are those just- ooh, see, I want creepier spiders, and I do want little ones too, but I just don't want them to be faster. Yeah, spiders don't bother me too much, but they do freak me out at the same time. It's a weird- it's a weird phobia. They really are good. Spiders are good things.
That's awesome. I love the barrel animation. Nice. That is so cool. I love that. They just look goofy. Yeah, you want to see them look goofy, just put googly eyes on them. Hey, Walter, what's up? Yeah, they're great pest control. Great for gardens. Those are nice looking axes. Whee! <laughs> Almost everything in my game has been diversified. Everything I look at is just different, which is so cool. Nice! Guess though that even those spiders want nothing to do with us? Yeah. They're just trying to live their lives. Get redbacks in Australia? Ooh. Right, now we're on a whole different level now. That's... Eek. Stealth Archer activated. I missed! What was that? Now you're mine! How did that go through? What? Thankfully, I have the dodge move. Mushroom picks. Animations, yes. Very nice. Very nice. And very nice. Candles are working and smoking. So you can turn it on for first person too. A little janky camera wise, but it's still cool. They're just living their lives? True. Simply defending themselves, so really it's not their fault. Solution is in your mailbox, though. Leave, leave, leave. There's someone that? there. Mm. We're not alone. Oh, yes. Over here. I'm so glad I have decent aim. Oh no! At least I got the other guy. Yeah, I mean, we're doing pretty good so far. Thankfully, I got the other two. You don't stand a chance. Victory is yours. I submit. No submission. Now you gotta find animation mods for that. That's the basically it's like the first it's the first mod on the Nexus. It's like the top mod right now. Which is super cool. It's dynamic looting and harvesting animations. There's the poacher's axe. Yeah, cool mod. Look at those Michael Jackson gloves, what? Ooh, diverse table! Half faces! When are you gonna make diverse keys? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, they've been going crazy with the diverse mods lately. I'm loving it. I just hope that they make some tankard replacers. 
Actually, I could probably do that myself. Different potions. Most of these I'm seeing are from Reba, which is so cool. Love this animation, by the way. Uh, what? I didn't do the right one. That's okay. Same thing with this. I love that. Give our girl a nice remote. Sweet. For real? Yeah, that's scary. Too scary. Actually, some pretty decent loot. It's not great, but it's it's not bad either. That's a bad starting loot. Not overly difficult either, which is nice. I'm really trying to strike a balance. I don't want people to have a extremely difficult time playing my list. I want you to have fun, but I want it to be a challenge. That's how I like my game. Not too challenging, but not well. I like it challenging, but not to the point. Not Dark Souls, right? There's challenging, and then there's Dark Souls level. Did they actually yield? Or are they just messing with you? They're just messing with you. I yield. I yield. Yeah, until you heal up. Challenging? Yeah. Challenging, but not annoying. I don't want to defeat... Not defeat the purpose. I don't want to ruin the exploration, either. If that makes sense. I still want you to be able to explore a lot of the world and not feel like you're gonna die around every corner. Which is fun. I like the idea with Requiem and stuff, but this is not a Requiem list. Hey, what's up, Valky? How you doing? This is my favorite song right now. Also, I didn't get a clear for that. I think I should have, right? Interesting. Be fun, but have the butt. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get the rush, the adrenaline pumping sometimes. Was it a naked mole rat? What? Downloaded a mod for Fallout 4 to improve combat AI. You're getting killed by mole rats. So annoying. Yeah, too aggressive, too tough. Like the game should be tough, but not every enemy should just be extremely spongy. Where every fight takes 20 minutes, you know? Six mole rats, it takes you three minutes to kill each mole rat. See, that too. That has to stop. Why is that happening? Easy to kill, but still. Hey, what's up, Willow? We're gonna check that out right now. Probably gonna have to open it up and exit it actually. Damn it. Curious though. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna play on the lower. Nice, Nico. I could do that right now. 
I'm gonna finish your model slate later. Character is made finally nice. Oh, no worries, Nico. Enjoy Skyrim above all else. And don't die. See, I would have died. That's a sick jump. I am seriously half tempted to go in right now and to exit it. If that happens again, if we get another gargoyle spawn on us, I am going to go open that up. I wouldn't really know where to look first. I'm, in, I'm assuming it's like a random encounter, random chance thing. I mean, I could just remove Skyrim unleveled. I don't really want to. you has issues you're mm -hmm. fine you're fine yeah you're okay mm -hmm. what about you Be no it's you that's behavior. broken Kajit are few but their will few of the cats strong. are broken kind of insane it's weird which is why I thought about just going to open world loot Removing Maro loot. Actually, let me check something really quick. Have a great stream. Hey, have a have a great night, Lucy. Thank you so much. Oh, I might just remove it, honestly. Wait a second. Oh, scout armor patch. The feeling like this picture your feet turning blue and being cold Oof. i mean my feet are pretty cold but not that not to that point Go check the wait i might still have it up so do you go for the base form id or the reference form id i wonder i wonder if it would show you both of them in x edit oh crap I should get myself an electric blanket. That would be so nice. Also, don't do fever because of it. Hmm. 
of every instance. So I just want to change the reference one for the specific mod then, huh? Yeah, I mean, it got cold here again, which is super weird. We went from 60 degrees back down to 30s again. I'll use my phone. I just remember the numbers, but I'd rather write them down. So I can be more than love it. Did drop to a good 25 degrees after the rain passed. Ooh, yeah, that's chilly. Not terrible, but still chilly. I got used to the 60 degree weather like right away. So I was sad when it went back down. Ooh, warm. And then nothing. There we go. Wait. Yes. 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 That's what I wanted. The point system's a little messed up, but yes, that's what I wanted. It's messed up because of the first level. Sweet! I'm glad that that's fixed. I still might- sh I still might also add extended UI. Oh my gosh, where did light armor go? Am I blind? right there. I'm so blind. That's pretty sick. Well, hey, I'm glad I fixed that. It's so empty without the sounds. If anything, I could probably just edit the sound files, make them much lower. You just look for the light armor and I, I think I'm going to add the pretty girl's perk interface back. I'd say my game is kind of on the anime side. Somewhat. Am I wrong about that? I don't know. A pretty girl perk tree, yeah. There's also, I think, a, a Genshin Impact or Genshin Impact. I don't know how you say that. There's one of those too. There's two of them that I've seen on the Nexus. those deaths.
Why must you be a console peasant? I think Queen actually has one on console. It's a little different than the one you'll see that I have. But there still is one. I've seen it. It's just breathtaking. <laughs> Looks like it's lightly raining. I'm not seeing any rain, though. There it is. Okay. I'd like it to be a little heavier than that. It is picking up, I think, though. Hey. Hey! Quit dripping on my face. <laughs> so pretty. The midnight bomber who shows up on the weekends late at night and uploads that along with a lot of adult mods that start getting deleted around 8 a.m. What? That's interesting. There's a pretty boy one than you would. Yeah, I get that. Chicken. Sorry, I am just... I'm just enjoying my mod list. I can't help but just observe. I don't have much to say other than observe. Ooh. Such a vibe. Oh my gosh. I live for this kind of weather. Here for the vibes, good to hear. I may apologize too much sometimes. We should go check out an interior, actually. Running through the night, looking for life. What's up, Kermanga? Hey, if I'm putting people to sleep, I honestly don't mind at all. If I can help people sleep, that's a good thing. I get terrible sleep most of the time, so... That's 
one thing I do like to help with. Hmm, interesting. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Looks weird. I wonder if I can fix that too. Do you? That's awesome. Well, thanks, Fiona. That's very nice of you to say. potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. This is why I'm testing things so we can turn things down. better. <laughs> Didn't like the rain noise? I like it. I think it's one of my favorite things, actually. It's like ambience, that's so interesting. Yeah, that is some pretty interesting behavior, I agree. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm drinking soda. You're that visitor been poking around. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I think I like this Delphine a little more. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. The last Delphine we had, not a fan. <laughs> sure thing, it's yours for a day. Oh, oh hey look, the arrows are still there, Nico. Aha! They're mine now! Look at those. Look at that bed. It's so noble. Wait, can I break the table? I don't think I have a weapon. You know, this is what I think about you, Delphine. The war keeps most folks away. Oh, I can't break it! Go away, I'm trying to break your stuff. Yeah! Break the chair! you stare at me? She's just staring. Honestly, if we had the trespassing mod, she would not be happy with me right now. Why did you get a bounty for that? I don't know, Darnell. What do you need? That's why I'm gonna probably remove destructible objects of Skyrim. But how you doing tonight, Darnell? I just wanted to mess with destructible objects because there's a base object swapper version of it i'm not keeping it though i'll be honest with you if it was a bit more you know fleshed out for example like like you're saying if you get bounties and stuff for it i'm not gonna fix it, that kind of stuff so i 
if you break too much really okay hmm you're off food and rest hey have a good night willow thanks for hanging out with us you know what i like about this inn there are doors Hey, Camper to Sniper, thanks for subscribing. Hopefully that wasn't too loud either. Let me know if that one was like jump scare. No peeping Duffy, so she's in creepy when you try to peep. But that's not what I want. I keep getting distracted because I'm thinking of so many different things. It's a nice looking pot. Holy moly, that looks good. Wait, 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 wait. I think that happens when new members join. So basically if you join the membership, that's when you get the you get the goomy. I'm trying Hello. to set up different things for different sound or different sounds for different whatever's. Ooh, eventually I want to have different sounds for different levels of donations too. You know, if you donate a dollar or five dollars, ten dollars, I want them all to be different. I like that kind of stuff. I like variation. <laughs> Goomy all day every day. I should I'll make a I'll make an emoji for y'all. I think that should be okay. Maybe I'll try to get in contact with Goomy. Because I do follow their channel. Be like, hey, is it okay if I do this? May I please use your burb? Wait, what? That's so weird. What the heck? I mean, whatever people want to do, but that that's just beyond me. <laughs> this tree is going to get moved, actually. I've been meaning to move this tree. Where should I move it, though? Maybe back here, somewheres. She looks so pretty with that, that circlet on. Oh my gosh. Wet and cold. Yeah, wet and cold is the one, which is something I actually need to configure because wet and cold is a little too... It's a little too much. This one, yeah, I like the rain blind. That's cool. I think that's actually an ENB situation, though, with the weird shininess. Should have tested it with the rain. That's okay. This tree, however, needs to move. Is also going to I'm also thinking I'm gonna make a performance tree mode for this list too so it's just vanilla trees with nature of the wildlands that'll probably be the performance option tree wise because that removes a ton of trees yes JS circles is the best hey what's up Ash Oh, that was Nika Roshi, probably. 
very kind of Nico to gift memberships. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, that was also Nico. <laughs> Put it in the wrong place, maybe. Maybe so. Nope, okay. Go in there. Go in there. Go in there. Okay. Let's go into the CK really quick. I'm just gonna fix that tree. That tree's been annoying me for a while, because it actually gets in the way of the bandits. Well, that one bandit that sits there, it gets in the way. Plus, it's just kind of in the way, so... I was looking for the Fluffworks patch for... Animalica, I couldn't see it anywhere. Maybe it's in Fluffworks, actually. Nope. I forget where it's at. I'll find it eventually. It's random. It is random, yes. It goes for different stages of membership. Thank you. Yeah, that's something I, I like a lot. I'm glad that I made... I made everything custom. I didn't want to use the just the basic... You know, no offense to the people who use the basic ones. I just personally like customization a lot. So I feel like if I'm gonna make a, a membership thing, even if it's a dollar, I want people to have fun emojis. I want people to have different bows for each month, you know? Add that to the list. I've always loved art in a lot of different forms. Eventually I'll have merch. I'd love to make merch one day. Modders in every game. Fine. I'll do it to myself. What's up, Blader Art? We're sipping on Dr. Pepper and water today. I had coffee earlier. Thought about making more, but I didn't. <laughs> it's always cool. Oops. Sorry about that. It's always cool to see new members. Music is still going. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Pepper's good. A lot of people I feel like it's either you hate it or you love it type of thing. I I don't say I love it, but I definitely don't hate it. I used to love it. I actually prefer the strawberry stuff more. Okay, where is that tree? Where's the entrance? to Ember Shard. It should be like right here. Where is... Too many dang trees. Wish it was a little brighter. My gosh, I think it's over here. I really have no idea. Yeah, why did it put me way over there? Anyways, Mr. Pib is good. I remember that one. 
This one. Hello, tree. Where should I put you, tree? I kind of wanted to put it over here. Why you do this to me? I know it seems like a weird place to put it. I see a floating beehive. Oh no, that's under the... Okay, that works, actually. I don't know, I think that was fine where I put it. So easy to get lost in these trees, sorry. Gosh. Whatever, I moved it. We'll see how it looks. What's up, Bibj? Surge. Surge was actually. I think that came back out recently, a couple years ago, I think. No, not Robber Scourge. Uh, Ember Shard. Sorry. Search, yeah, it came back. I remember that. And then there was Volt. And I think Volt's not a thing anymore. Red Bull is the one I remember. I still drink Red Bull sometimes. One of the filthiest sodas you ever had. Fair enough. 45 minutes after you slammed it, you started feeling tired again. Yeah, they, the sugar crashes. That's why I just stick to coffee. Coffee is really good. Yeah, it happens real fast. Coffee, I feel like, especially if you don't drink, drink it with a lot of sugar. Uh, it lasts quite a bit longer. Bolt, yeah, Bolt is pretty good. Oh, really? That's cool, Yana. Everybody, when they see, when they see the X edit light mode, they're probably like, "Oh gosh, my eyes." I like it. I prefer the light one. Yeah, three to four hours is about right, I think. A patch. Yeah, I wish they made patches for things like that. That would be nice. Here, I'm in X at it. I'll make you a patch right now. How about that? Patch your damn cat allergy. All right, give me a second. I'm just kidding.
not check that. The goggles, they do nothing. Sorry. I'm just going to check loot really quick. I like to check it for one thing. I know it doesn't matter. It's more just like a reassurance thing. Okay, perfect. Perfect. There's drinks as well. Elements. I remember elements. Sorry, somebody was just revving their engine next to my house. I was like, what the hell? We're getting close to the 900 plugins. Not quite there. Actually, we're getting really close on the... Not really close. We're getting closer on the the limit, so I'm really going to have to start chipping away at, you know, changing them to ESLs and stuff like that. 165, though. I think, I think once I get to around 200, I'll start focusing on that. What's up, Mbaru? Don't touch the complex mod manager stuff. It gets pretty crazy, especially when you're building... When you're building a Wabajack, I feel like I agree with Biggie, uh, Biggie Boss when it comes to the hell. Sorry about that. Um, here, let me do something. I've been testing some things today because of the issues we had yesterday. I don't know why that happened. So for now, I'll just turn that off. Sorry about that, Cameron. Let's see. 30 seconds. Yeah, I would. we had some issues yesterday, so... I knew it was probably a mistake to try these. Don't know why it decided to do that specifically to Cameron, but sorry about that. It's only 30 seconds, so you should be fine. Turn this stuff off for now, but um, just know it's that was not intentional. Sorry. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, though. 256 ESPS. It can fill up pretty close. Yeah, you can get, I think, 40, 428 ESLs, which is like, how are you ever going to get that many? Yeah, we had some issues last night. Um... So I was testing out some new stream elements thing, and I, I knew going into it that it might be an issue, so... Uh, apologies for that. Something else I wanted to look into was... Probably have to go, have to, go to exit it for this. I wonder if that's what I have to do, actually. Okay. It's complicated, though. It, it It's actually really fun. I'll be honest with you, Xedit is becoming, like, my new favorite tool the more I mess around in it. So, I'm moving on from Dyndalod over to Xedit. I wanted to check on Skyrim Unleveled really quick. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to make sure that before I release this, even in an alpha state, I want I want to do as much patching and just as much stuff as I can do, but I also want to release it as well. So it's going to get to a point where, okay, I need to get the readme done. I need to start at least testing compiling so I can... Because I know compiling is kind of a, a difficult task. I just want to start getting into those motions, but I don't want to rush my list either. I think it's pretty good off, though. Just, like I said, consistency patches and there's a ton of other mods I want to add, but I can add that in future updates.
else I gotta check out here? Yeah, see, still have to fix all of this stuff. I mean, not all red is bad. But there's a lot of consistency stuff. Oh, I didn't realize that it would tell you this. Oops. It's a good thing I wrote that down. Give me one second. Oh my gosh. Sorry, that's just so funny. Look at that. Oh my god, that's funny. You don't want to- yes, yeah, no, I'm gonna make sure you go through and, you know, you apply the script to make sure. I'm gonna go through all the easy ESLify stuff first. Deal with one issue at a time until all are taken care of? Yes. That is written correctly for it. I think that's where Ren is going, is having issues with currently. No, that's the wrong. That is the wrong. Okay. I do like the boss, big fucker. <laughs> that's funny. limit and have to yeah compacting form ids i mean it would be a good idea to go through as much of that as i can before i upload it just so people have a solid time to play before i update again that's my thing is i don't want to just keep releasing updates unless they're save safe as well I think I, I will have plenty of time that I won't have to worry about it at the moment. But it'll... It, it gets there real quick. Just the fact that we're at 168 at a thousand mods is pretty crazy. I think the only preventative measures I'm taking right now to keep it from getting bigger is by ESLifying my own personal fixes, I guess. It's true, Nico. That's why I that's why I want to get this list out too. Because I know I won't get everything I want in the list right away, of course. It'll take some time. Yeah, all your patches are ESL. Yeah, that's that's an easy thing to kind of just control right away. Oh, yes. I've, I've been adding some different pictures to the main menu randomizer so you won't just get the same ones that you usually see. I gotta make mine custom. Beyond your IQ level. You know, I felt the same way, but I keep learning. You like that one? It's a good one. You can actually make it work with main menu randomizer, which is what I use. And they made a bunch of different pictures for the North Nordic woman.
trying to figure out what kind of armor she's wearing. Skull? I don't think so. I can show you the website. Hey, look, no more tree. Actually, I like the tree over there. That's not in a weird spot, is it? I mean, I feel like a tree could grow out there. A tree can grow right there. It can grow right there, too. I don't know. I don't think it's bad. This one, I just had to move it because it would block the bandit here. Sexy skull. I can show you. Actually, I, I don't. I don't know if you could use it with. I don't know if you could use it with your. A wall, paper, or your background main menu background replacer thing. But I think I'm just gonna slowly start incorporating all of these ones. Just all the ones I like the most. Ember shard time. You like all those? Did you want me to send you a link? I think it's called the Northern Maiden. It's pretty much brand new. Just know that they are like AI generated, I think. Which I'm not like the biggest fan of AI generated stuff, but they're it's not terrible, right? And at least they at least they said that that was the case. That's why I'm not going to add all of them. I'll add a few of them so that they're just- because we have the random main menus, so I want you to be able to see a few different ones. And customize it a little, of course. Oh, you're looking forward to seeing them in my list? Good to hear. I think they're going to be a nice addition to my list. Are you worried someone will wander in here? The entrance isn't exactly hidden yet. This Does luck sound true? I told you, we have someone huh? standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. What was that? Stop! No! Actually, having more bandits in here is very nice. Ah. Beg for your miserable life! I wasn't going to, but now I might have to. Oh! Jeez! Definitely morally gray. Yeah, that's why I'm not really using them. I liked some of those pictures, so I figured I might as well incorporate a couple of them in there, right? Shouldn't be that big of a deal. But it's it's kind of an, a strange situation. What's up, Seven? Did you? Not the biggest fan of AI. Don't you start rebelling against your future match. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up, Pomer? How are you? The size of the world in Skyrim. I see seems larger than Aldrin. It might be. You might not be crazy, VibJ. Okay, let's try that again. This time, let's try not to die. Right in the chest. Have someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. Stop. Right in the someone forehead. Oh. Uh oh. Knocked him down. Oh yeah, I'm doing pretty well though, Pomer. How are you? Whee. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn survival mode on. Gotta watch myself. Oh, look at that pickaxe. That's a nice looking pickaxe. Okay. 
At least fast remining works. Blade and Blunt. I have to check it out. Isn't that Simon Rim though? Dead. Someone's going to pay for it. Uh oh. How many guys are there in here? Can't you get rid of the spawns with hand placed enemies? Like the random spawn ins? I think you can. That's a little weird. Plus, that's so many enemies in one spot. I like hand placed enemies, I just want to edit it a little bit. A little bit stressed out as usual, but besides that, you're okay. Hey, it's okay being a little stressed out. I'm glad you're okay over all things. Being stressed is never fun, though. Oh, the lever crunk. Oh, you think that's OBIS? No, that's hand placed enemies, too. I like OBIS. I just think it's a little too much with both of them. Is someone there? With hand placed enemies. Time to end this little game. I like OBIS. I'm definitely keeping it. Keeping both of them, just need to tweak it so it works better together. Right, yeah, OBS, OBIS has an MCM menu. I don't believe hand placed enemies has one. Nope, it does not. I think OBIS is perfect right where it's at now. Oh, it's off. Jeez. The UI for archery? What you talking about? What are you talking about? The crosshair? That one? The third person one anyway? That's smooth cam with Nico cam. I believe Nico Cam specifically gives me this. The crosshair that I like. I don't know if it's set up as dot still, though. You might have to go and man manually set it up with the dot. It might be by default the dot, though. But you just go here. I think Nico usually sets it to Skyrim. I just go in and switch to dot. V2? Yeah, V2 is the one I use. I think V2 is a little bit better, and then I just switch it over. Unless there's no real difference. Right in the heart! <laughs> Another Nico moment? Yeah. There we go. Might have made a thing or two. Yep. Just a, just a few things. Love this table. 
<clears throat> uh oh, we're thirsty. Oh, so many potions. Hogfish. Curved swords. They've got curved swords. Oh yeah, the dynamic looting and harvesting animations, those are so good. Yes, I did get those. Except I need to get them to work. I need to get them to work with Cathedral Mountain Flowers, the base the base object swapper version. And Spy Rally's butterflies. Those are two things that do not work with it for some reason. There's someone there. Yes. Where the hell Good did enough. you even come from? <laughs> Oops. What will I be doing this evening? Try not to die. <laughs> I mean, I would like to become a follower of her scene. Yes. It does not show the item in my hand. Just on the Cathedral Mountain Flowers and the Spirally specific butterflies. I can pick normal butterflies with the glass jar. I can catch them. And I can pick every other plant, flower, what have you. It's just the Cathedral Flowers specifically. I can't quite get right. <laughs> Oh, that's where you were. Oh, gr oh gosh. I tried to run. It didn't work. Oh my gosh, I keep having to drink. Sorry. I didn't know she was a troll woman, okay? If you know what I know. That's another thing I'll probably remove. The troll ones are kind of annoying. <clears throat> Caffeine overdose. The troll ones are kind of annoying. Because you can't kill them until you kill the other ones. Oh, hello! Dying. A bit dying. What just happened? What the hell? Whatever. Wow. It's not even that hard. But I'm getting too warm. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. I think what's psyching me out is this lady over here. The troll women are actually okay. really, really strange. That's why I might get rid of them, actually. The troll ones in general just don't make any sense to me. Why would an enemy not be killable unless you kill all the other ones first? You know what I mean? 
Because you're a weakling elf, it's true. Well, and I don't have good armor, and I'm using iron arrows. There's a lot of reasons why I should not be doing this right now. So it's Hello? it makes sense why I'm dying so much. Where? Every time I think I've got it. It's like cleared Ember Shard. Nope, there's still three more enemies that you have to kill. <clears throat> That one I call shenanigans. Don't tell me I've cleared Ember Shard if I didn't. What was that? There's someone there. What was that? Oh. See, it says I like, clear it. I know I heard something. Where's the Where's the one guy? See, he's right there. And he's an archer. So he goes invisible. And he almost one-shots you. Okay, well, who's still alive, then? This guy. For this lady. There's two of them. What the okay. No, this has to get fixed. I'm TGMing this really quick. These will not be in this game. You will not be in this game. Whoever decided you guys were smart idea was incorrect. Let's see if I can kill the other one. Hmm, okay. Anybody else in here? Let's check. We'll fix that right now if we have to. I want to talk about unfair advantage. Do you have a death wish? That's going away. We're going to look for how to get rid of that. What's up, Python? You're notified of stream. That would be nice. Well, I do it in the Discord, but... YouTube does not do a good job. Mm. Focus on intelligent placement. Yeah, so intelligent. It puts two unkillable bandits in Ember Shard Mine. I'm not even going to deal with it. That's not happening. <laughs> like, I like hand-placed enemies. I don't feel like dealing with that at the moment, so... There's so many other things to deal with. I'll probably leave it in i'll probably put it in for future updates but right now i just do not have the time to focus on hand-placed enemies 
Well, yeah, how you doing today, Python? Thanks for joining. Yeah, it's not that it's too difficult, it's just that it does not... Those, those troll... troll men, troll women don't make any sense to me. Does not compute. Which means I might have to restart the character. I'm not doing too bad, thanks for asking. I might have to just restart the character, which is okay. Yo, what's up, Disclo? How you doing? Yeah, I think Discord is really just the best place to look when it comes to that kind of thing. Oh, well, see, now they just don't exist at all. That's interesting. I kind of want to go to a previous save. Actually, let's go back to this one really quick. Oops. <laughs> Don't mind that. I'll have to check and make sure that the happens if that happens again, I'll have to check the load order really quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That? That's so interesting. Sorry. Noticing things. I could honestly, I could honestly see that making the game crash, which is funny. Can we crash the game? I'm about to upload a race menu preset. Nice, Disclo. I actually did that this morning. <laughs> the first mod I ever uploaded. Sleepy out of time, you should not be sleeping. Don't you just despise that sometimes? I would just be being a hold now. You hear me? Dead! What was that? Oops. Yeah, this is why we test. You'll be so much easier to rob! You will not be missed. That's because, well, that's because uh, we had hand placed enemies. And now we don't. So. We broke the game. I'm surprised it hasn't crashed. We crashed the game by sleeping in the bedroll. Nope. Yeah, because she was sleeping there from before. Maybe we'll go clear another area that I know had some troll enemies. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Today has been a good day. Got to relax most of the day. You level up when you clear a dungeon? No, you do get XP when you clear a dungeon. Because I use the experience mod. I have a level up too. No, wait, what? Maybe not quite yet. Might have to come back here, actually. 
restart the character and come back through here and and check it out again. I'm also thinking that the fish plates need to be less diverse as much as I like them. My first mod. Not even really my first mod, but thank you, Gears. I don't know if I would consider a race menu preset a mod, necessarily. Who knows? I feel like as a, a mod is something that Takes a bit more time. I don't know. I guess it depends on how long you took to make your character. I wouldn't say I've spent a ton of time making Runa, but I've spent a lot of time crafting her and making her backstory, trying to give her life, I guess. So I suppose it is a valid mod. Maybe I just don't feel like from my personal perspective that it, it's a mod. I mean, like, if that makes sense. I'm trying to say that everybody else who makes presets and uploads them aren't making mods. From my personal perspective, when I upload it, I didn't really feel like I made a mod. Like, you would model something and... You know, something like what Nico made or what Biggie has made. It's I'm invalidating myself, dang it. <laughs> Imposter syndrome. Oh gosh, no. You're funny, aren't you? Nexus says it is true. Nexus says it's a mod, then it's a mod. Hmm, the veteran is streaming right now. Oh, all right, let's move on. Is there another dungeon I should go look at? Hey, what's up, Jimbo? How are you doing? Honestly, I wouldn't mind rerunning Ember Shard again without hand-placed enemies. Let's do that. I know that sounds super duper weird. We're gonna do that really quick. Currently playing the Dawn Guard quests. Nice, Jimbo. That's awesome. Well, how far along are you on the, the quests, Jimbo? One issue I've noticed, I don't know if anybody else had this when they downloaded Runa, but I did give her the right hair for some reason. Interesting. Well, if anybody knows how I can fix that, I will post that. I'm still new to posting race menu stuff, so. About to go Ancestor Glade. Just got the Dragon Scroll. I haven't seen Greybeards yet, so doing things in a funky order. Ah, oh, that's okay. Using SDA. Isn't that Serana Dialogue? Sorry about that. Pesky dragons. <laughs> I 
also another thing I remembered I need to fix. Oh no, that's good. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. Taking a little break. Just a jiggle physics. Yep, she do have the the jiggle physics. Very slight. I tried to tone it down because I don't really care that much for the jiggle physics. Not really into it. I mean, I like it for a, a realistic standpoint, but I really don't. I don't really care that much. I'm sure other people will appreciate it though. Can't wait till I have all this stuff pretty much automated. Wait, that didn't save. Oh, it did. Okay, we're good. Oh, I didn't need- oops. Big mistake. Estio. Yeah, I don't really- I just leave Serana the way she is. Honestly. Well, I change her appearance, but I don't- I don't add the, uh, dialogue stuff. Is fixed. Is there music playing in the background again? Oopsie. Sorry about that, everyone. It's probably been doing that the whole time. Okay, we're good now. Sorry. That's wrong folder hierarchy. That makes sense. Well, that's easy to fix. So thank you, Display. I said I've never actually uploaded stuff like that before, so... Still that. That's still broken, unfortunately. Did we just end the week? Oopsie. the dawn guard to be underwhelming. I liked it. First bug report and update. Oh gosh. Well thank you Disclo. Seriously it means a lot to me because I do need the feedback otherwise I'm never gonna know right? Definitely fix that after stream, though. This is why I liked slow your roll, but it was too slow. A dragon. I also, saw a that's dragon. broken. What? What is it now, mother? I don't think I've ever seen that broken like before. That is so weird. Dragons now, is it? Oh well, Please let's smile. let's test this if really quick. Keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. Well, that's at least working good. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your fantasies. You'll see. It cool. was a dragon. It'll kill us all, and then you'll believe me.
Sweet, okay. One little thing at a time, thankfully. And it's gonna get there. Ooh, hello puppies. Aha, that tree's in your way too. I would say you really missed on missed out on anything personally. It must be inside. You can't challenge me. Yeah, that happened again. Weird little things like that need to be fixed immediately. Yeah, Skyrim unleveled is cool, but stuff like that. Why is there a gargoyle? Yeah, blame mods for that. Blame mods that I have to fix or get rid of. I'm leaning more towards get rid of. Best choice. No, it wasn't meant to be placed there. That's what we like to call uh, either a bug or not good mod making choices. Which is exactly why I test things before I were to ever release this list. And to, to be honest with you, I do like this mod, and this can be fixed quite easily. Through X edit. Too weird, yeah. Too weird for me, that's for sure. And I'm trying to decide, do I have the patience to fix that, or... Do I just want to remove it for now? Once you picked your start. That's that's called Skyrim Unleveled. Isn't doing what it's supposed to be doing. And if that's intentional, that's it's a pretty stupid decision. Sorry if you're the if you're the creator of of the mod and you're out there listening to me right now. That's pretty stupid. Release the preset? Nice, Disclo. I'll go check it out. Probably shouldn't have saved, actually. Once again, another mod is going to get removed for now. I have things that I like. Um, this is actually kind of annoying the heck out of me. And I don't need it either. Oh, shh. <laughs> really? Have to rerun that then? The cull continues. Yep. 
It's okay. I need to test these things and fix them before I release it. Aravar guide me. It's not out yet, so I can't quite see it, but once it's there, I will have to grab it. I'm assuming you made it for Lorim. Thieves Guild alternate endings. Interesting. There's one issue with Easy NPC. I think I have to go into the CK Oops, to fix it. Oh my gosh, really? Wow. Okay, that is so funny. Erevar. Misty Sky wasn't blurred. Oh, did you see nudity? Oops. Hopefully you didn't. YouTube, don't ban me. It's it's Nexus's fault, not mine. The lore might be different for Elder Scrolls. Hmm. Guess it's not up yet. I think it takes a few minutes for it to go up. This one? That's not bad, I guess. I've seen worse. Also merge schedules? I don't think so. I know that one's not yours for sure. I will find it. Nerevar, guide me. Hey, thanks, Gears. Encoding overloaded. Oh no. How dare you pack the essay file? Ambition. That's how I feel with modding Skyrim. It's a test of ambition. Check one more time, really quick. I don't know how long it took before mine showed up. Honestly. <laughs> right, Amali? Product. Yeah, I'm not too sure. How do you choose which locations to test? Just start somewhere and keep going. I think it's it's genuinely a good idea to just start. Well, I guess what I've been doing that for the most part lately has I've been just trying to see as much of the map and the world as I can, get my eyes on everything, and then start narrowing things down one at a time. 
you know, go go the full thing, see as much as you can. Then start focusing on the different cities, focusing on the different towns, focusing on then start focusing on caves and dungeons and stuff like that, which is kind of where I'm starting to shift my attention to is the enemies and the dungeons and difficulty stuff. It's it's quite a big balancing act, honestly. I think it's really a good idea to just start with the easy stuff first. The things people are going to try to do first. Right? Oh, yes. See the another one. Gives me some Game of Thrones vibes. Planning to add more? What's up, Alfredo? Yes. I think once we get to around 1200 or more, I'm gonna try to get a readme done. I should just start doing that tomorrow. Get the readme done. Start compiling soon. I just have more patching to do before I feel comfortable releasing it. To play that character? Oh, like there's DBVO and stuff. I know I just did this. I should have fixed the folder structure to test this too. Damn it. Oh well. Not a huge deal right now. I'll fix it after stream. I mean, oh no, I have to move the hair over just a few. I'll fix it. Easy, easy fix. Ruba! Womp womp. Ooh, I gotta get rid of that too. It's gonna be loud again. It's up now? Ooh. Well, just so everybody knows, the dragon's gonna be really loud, so brace yourself. Ruba pebbles the area. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Sorry about that. Nice. <laughs> exactly, Gears. Exactly. I'm not going to go grab the armor this time. I'll just stick with what I got. said to back off. What's up, Bib J? What's with the cry emoji? Please dig us or to come nerf her. Oh my gosh. I really did like Morrowind a lot, actually. It was so fun. Oh, your ears? Sorry. Well, you shouldn't have to hear it again tonight. I'm sorry. Okay, well that's good. Not gonna worry about this stuff. I'll grab the book. Crackle? Snap, crackle, pop. Except for the cliff bracers. Quests were fun. I agree. I feel like a dragon would be allowed me to. Hello. Well, you're out here. What's up with your face, though? Oh, it's just a tattoo. Okay. You watch out for that tree. I'll see you burn. Imagine if I perk blocked all that stuff. thinking it's a kitty cat purring it's this one I'm gonna change this one 
That's the only sound I'm gonna change, though. The rest of it is pretty good. I like that sound, but I think I want more of, like, a... a chime. But that sound's not too bad. It's not too distracting, I guess. You hate the sound less? Is it really that annoying? Because I didn't find it too annoying. It's gonna get changed anyway. I didn't like it necessarily. It just didn't really bother me enough to worry about currently. But it's an easy fix. Sounds like rain falling on plastic tarp. Kind of does sound. It does sound off compared to the rest of the sounds. Add selection of Zelda sound effects. Aren't you worried someone will wander in here? The entrance isn't exactly hidden, you know. This again? I told you we have someone standing guard out there. Huh? Someone there? Dead. You hear me? Dead! By Eastman! You won't get away with that! What if I do this? Oh, you missed. Can't wait to count out your coin. <sighs> Balancing playtime with modding time? Yes. That's why I try not to mod too much on stream. More or less just take notes that I can fix things off stream, but there are some times I have to just have to fix this thing or that thing. I only really get so much time to play, so. I thought we had a guard posted outside. We did. Keep your eyes peeled. I don't think we're Well and with OBIS, well, I think this place could be a lot more scary, Enough. you know, on its own. No need to add Give 10 more enemies no. that are all you, unleveled, you, you know. Pay for that? Leave that to the Requiem lists. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Please don't. Too real it has to be perfect, but as soon as it's perfect, someone releases a mod that you want, but it breaks everything. True. Why is that so dang true, though? Another thing to add to the MCM recording. Ray tracing mod? Yeah, I think Nico uses a ray tracing something. Actually, is it ray tracing in ENB like, or is that just rock. fake HDR? Wait, that's not the same thing. Sorry. But I know you can ray trace because Nico does it. Cabbage with Nat? I recommend Rudy with Obsidian, but Cabbage... Nat Weathers is a pretty good choice overall. There are a lot of good ENVs you can use with Nat, but I, I just personally prefer Rudy for Obsidian. And what Nico said too, it's important that you choose like the Brighter Nights for Lux. Oh, RTGGI. 
RTGI from G-Force, huh? Rudy with Obsidian. That's what I'm using now. That's what usually you always see me using is Rudy with Obsidian. I've tried other stuff, but for my own personal list. Why do you exist? Okay, well you... You don't have the weird... Fast health bug, thankfully. I don't mind them as long as they don't... Just heal up. Must be a conflict between OBIS and Skyrim Unleveled, actually. Skyrim Unleveled is just really, really strange. Oh my gosh, I got- oh, I just got stuck in a corner there. Jeez. Oh gosh. Come on, right in the foot. No. Why do kill cams exist? Why do they exist if you're not going to get the kill cam? I have one arrow. Yay, one arrow. Yeah, I got cheated. You love doing foam buffs? It's like a little mini game. True. They're pretty fun if you think about it that way. Is there going to be another enemy in here? No. Honestly, I wouldn't mind more enemies. But it is Emperor Shard, so... I could always increase the number with OBIS by a couple. Not concerned. They look a different bread. Yo, thank you! Let's see if it gets NSFW flagged. It does. <laughs> I don't even think it needs to. I just think the, the flag is a bit aggressive. Hey, I'd rather it be too aggressive than not enough. Wow, you went into serious detail with this. This is awesome. The poses are awesome. Very nice. Ooh, I actually don't have all the community overlays yet. That's something I have to grab as the other two that I'm missing. I actually don't have a lot of these mods. I have like the Coralina stuff. Bia's eyes. Cool. I don't know. I don't know. The, the NSFW thing is extremely weird. Oh, there is a standalone version. That's cool. So I could have a Lorem version and a KS hairdos version. I should do the same thing almost with people who don't want to use the dent pack. I kind of like the KS hair a lot. Dent just makes such good hair. Yeah, it's like if it's a little skimpy, they're going to be like, nope, you don't get to look at that. Well, I will grab this version for my game, but I'm clearly going to have to go through and grab the rest of this stuff too. So maybe I should wait. I'll download it. But I know I need to, I know better than to actually use it till I grab that stuff. So thank you for the preset. And great job, Disco. They just, she looks so wonderful. Love the eyes. I'm always a huge fan of war paint too. People really get with the poses. I've never downloaded any pose mods because they, they always seem like such a pain in the butt to set up. Could be wrong. But I love the poses. So nice. She's very pretty. Yeah, and there's a link too up there from Gears. So go grab it. 
Looks like she knows Ari. Hellblade. Is that a video game? Hey, I made it. Hey, what's up, Gmail? Goes the lava shot? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm getting closer and closer every day to being able to release it, hopefully. I'm hoping at least another month. I clearly have a ton of consistency patching in and other work to do before I do so. But I hope you're doing well, Gmail. It's always good to see you. Glad I have this working too. Oh, that's another thing I need to change. Change this from marksman to archery. Just so it doesn't confuse people. I wish it didn't play the sound every time, but it's okay. One step at a time, true. A dragon. A dragon. That's all I try to focus on what? is one what step is at now, a mother? time. Watch out, kid. this rowboat move? No, that'd be cool though. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Observing. That's just beautiful weather. No arrows equipped. Did I use all my arrows fighting? No. I'm not seeing any wolves. I'm kind of surprised. See, stuff like this I'm more concerned about. Fixing an X edit. I'm trying to make the overall experience smooth before I add a bunch of difficulty stuff. I honestly just want to get rid of the Sky Shards book and have it set up as what I want by default. No choices you have to use. No beacons with the light quest. If you want the Sky Shards, I think you should have to work for them a little harder. Not just- oh, I see the light shining a hundred feet in front of me. Plus, they just ruined screenshots, in my opinion. You can still hear them, and you can still see the ENB light that they produce. If you haven't activated them yet. See, they still have a little bit of light, but when you haven't activated them, I'll go show you the one in White Run. It'll still glow, and like I said, you'll hear it too, so. I 
is in front of SL. I don't know what SL is. It's a little quiet. You can hear it though. See the the light it gives out. It does make noise. You can hear it. Plus, it doesn't ruin my screenshots. I think that's my main thing. It's I'm taking this nice beautiful picture of my game and there's just this beam of light out of nowhere. Why? Why you do this to me? My immersion. You're killing it. They just don't feel as special when you can see 60 lights in front of you. Need more trees? It always needs more trees. At least we have more animals. I have a ton of animals now. It's a hunting paradise. Fade into dark. Oh, right in the leg. Quit moving. So pretty. Time of day in game. What about the time of day? It's 7.45 p.m. If you ever want to know the time of day, it's actually in the corner. I don't know if you can even read that, though, honestly, on the screen. I do I like way shrines? They're pretty fun. I like how difficult they can be before you actually get them. They're, more, they're a bit more rewarding, you know? And it gives you a chance to fast travel. It gives you more chance to fast travel, I guess. So I think they're really fun. I like them. But definitely, I like the quest involved. It makes it more difficult to actually use. What are the waypoints? Oh, here. Just so I can get over there a little bit quicker. Well, I use survival mode, so... There is no fast travel. Well, I guess if you turn survival off, you can fast travel. But even with... Even with survival off, I don't fast travel. I'm so used to not fast traveling, I just don't do it. These sway shrines, once you unlock them, which they're not unlocked, of course, so you have to finish the quest. Once you finish the quest, though, then they'll be unlocked. Micromanagement aspect. That's why I use a very tweaked version of Sunhelm. I don't like it. I don't like the survival mode to be too distracting if that makes sense you're already just trying to run around and enjoy the game and collect stuff deal with enemies and dragons all sorts of different things i just like it to be a bit more in the background like you still do have to eat and drink and sleep 
Just not as frequently, I guess. I feel like with the list I'm going for, it doesn't necessarily make sense to even use survival mode. I just personally like having a little bit of little bit of the survival element in my game. Gives you a chance to slow down and take a break every once in a while. So dark. Survival seems to be broken for you. Ooh, sorry, that's pretty. Except the reflections are weird. I hope that's EMP related. Definitely is. You know Greed? Yeah, I watch Greed streams frequently actually. It helps me... It helps me learn how to play Requiem a little bit better. Plus, his gameplay is so interesting, it puts mine to shame. Any day of the week. Let's make some friends. Ouch. Yeah, he was streaming earlier today, now he's streaming again. He made a great point. What was that? a paladin build cool why he likes frostfall type mods i like sunhelm never really tried frostfall i think it's probably similar greetings for that armor looks like it could use a polish <laughs> so does your pitch boy didn't i tell you last time to be more specific they lock the gameplay into regions of activity. Yeah, with the cold and stuff. Which, thankfully, with Sunhelm, if you want, you could just turn the cold off. And have the other elements of survival if you want. It's very customizable. Whoa! What? I've never seen that before. Ever. That was something with magical jumping. We broke the physics. Yeah, that other FPS thing is so strange. With Requiem, I think survival is a little bit more. It makes it's a little bit more in line with Requiem gameplay. But even then, I just rather would not deal with survival mode. I'd rather roleplay survival elements, if that makes sense. Like no fast traveling, sleeping, eating, drinking. But I don't want to be forced to have to do it, if that makes sense. Riding with him earlier, he's. Awesome to watch him. I love watching his streams. I see you in there too. Ooh, a steel shot. I was say that dude's probably gonna whoop my butt. A lightning wolf? What? Is she gonna turn into a werewolf?
really fast. Uh oh, I'm out of ammo. What's this do? Oops. Oh, I missed. Your aim is impeccable, dude. Stop that. Nope. Your good is dead. It might be actually. Mainly because I suck with staffs. Wait, where'd your campsite go, buddy? I have the high ground, Anakin. There's your place. Where they have such good aim, it's outrageous how good of aim they have. Like the fact that they can guide their shots that well. Pretty crazy. into your head he had a head before what the hell happened to it Leave me alone. Okay. It's changed a lot. Started as Gothic Skyrim. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Ooh. Ooh, you're really pretty. It's a white-tailed deer. I wonder if that's an issue with the new magical jumping update. Serpentine! Serpentine! sound though sounds like you're being shanked <laughs> does sound like a dagger though so there is that I see you over there beehive So lush, so pretty. Huh? Oh, uh -oh. 
Thought I heard something. What'd you see? You see a oh, it's a skelly. Get him. Good job. Where are you? I would say he's dead, but he was already dead before. There's a shiny over there. That's a bear! Actually, I want to test the bears really quick because I changed them recently. Animations are actually so cool. I love them. And they're not really loud either. They still have somewhat the same noises. I just couldn't do Bears of the North anymore. They're way, way too big. I mean, there are some bears that are that big, but not every single bear is that big. You know what I mean? I hear it. I almost forgot about it. They're too floofy. I like the shell texturing, I just don't like that they're all massive. I could have had a variety of bears. I just... I don't even really want that big of a chance at all of bears of the north. Not fluffy enough. Well, I can get a fluffy patch for those bears. It's just not fluff works. It's like somebody else made a fluffy patch for them. So I'm gonna have to do some more research on that one. Make sure it doesn't actually conflict with fluff works. I don't think it would, but you want a duck mod? I'm pretty sure duck mods exist. Am I wrong about that? I'm pretty sure they do. Don't ask me why I'm going smithing too. Just I've been wanting to be able to smith stuff as well. Get this to 20, I'll probably stop at two-handed for a while. She's gonna be a warrior. What do we think of the new bridges, by the way? These are from W Skeeper. I believe it only does three. The one in Riverwood. This one, and there is another one. I forget where. But it's base object swapper, so I do love me some wind bridges. Oh, and, and chanterelle. Nice. The thing I like most is it actually looks blended enough, like the dirt stays on top of the wood a little bit. Like it got drug from travel. You know? But it stops. They're pretty. I like them. And it only does a few of them at the moment. Hey, I'm all about the wooden bridges. Some of them, I think, can be cobble or whatever. They're usually made out of just stone bridges. I just like the wooden aesthetic in Skyrim a lot more personally. Except I do have the stone walls again. I got rid of the fences. I found stone walls I actually like enough to keep. It's good. Just super impressed all overall. Is that a quail? Tragopan? Never heard. It's cute. Get back here. Wow. 
The thing is adorable. Hey, what's up, John? Do I like swans? Swans are cute. I heard they're kind of evil, but they're cute. Yes. It's an Indrik. He's friendly. Don't worry. There's going to be plenty of evil enemies here, so we'll keep some of them nice. Can you harvest that? Harvest what? What are we looking at harvesting? What was that? Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous lush forest. So, so pretty. I don't think you can ride them, unfortunately, though. Hopefully they don't get aggressive, either. Hello. He's so cute. Fiercely protective. That's the one. Yes, they're very protective. Which is valid. You can't ride him? No. Sorry. I got way, way, way too excited. No. I will not make you evil. Oh no, it got evil by the Spriggins! Oh no! Not the cute puppy! What's up, buddy? What's up, Biggie? How you doing? Just exploring the beautiful world. It's very, very gorgeous. I'm not too bad. Thanks for asking. Ooh. Don't mind me. I'm just absolutely taken aback by the beauty of Skyrim. But what's up, Salumi Slam? Yeah, long time no see. I like pretty. I like lush. I like good performance, too. I think we're coming up on Falkreath, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it has been a while since I've seen you, Slimmy Slam. Finish your first mod showcase video. Nervous to see how it goes. Well, I'll definitely have to watch it. I support. Understandable to be nervous, too. It's always kind of nerve-wracking doing new things. But I think it'll do really well. You have, you have good opinions on mods. And you, not only that, but you test them thoroughly, so I feel like I can respect and trust your opinion on mods. Therefore, I think it's a good fit. I don't see why it would go bad at all. Although I can understand venturing into something like mod showcases. A lot of people do that stuff, so... It's pretty saturated, I suppose you could say. But that doesn't mean that you know, you're not allowed to do it if you if you want to. Showcase broken once. Ah, oh, dang it. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Some people showcase mods and they just don't really do a lot of research or testing. Which is why I haven't really done any showcase mods yet, or mod showcase videos yet. I thought about a couple good ones. I'd love to do 
top five favorite base object swapper mods or top five alchemy mod or archery mods just simple stuff that i like you know things that i know work well happy to see the great the channel girl thanks sloomy yeah you were here a long time ago back when we had probably a hundred subscribers 200 subscribers even A lot of clickbaiters out there, or people who like to say, yeah, don't test thoroughly. Exactly. That one tree I have to fix. I've been popping off. I have. It's been kind of crazy to see just how, how much love the channel's been getting lately. I always say it. Probably sound like a broken record, but I am forever grateful for all of the support and love, especially recently, it's been just absolutely You're going to have incredible. the men around here wrapped around your finger in no time. Oh, thanks. Only one for Starfield, but no, not really. Yeah, I feel like Skyrim streaming has definitely had a recent resurgence. I wonder why. <laughs> a lot of good mod lists coming out. A lot of good mods being made. People not liking Starfield. People not liking other games. And coming back to the good ones. It's hard to beat Skyrim. It really, really is hard to beat Skyrim. Especially with the state of modding. No mods are really beating it, or no games are really beating Skyrim. I've added all the diverse animals, so I gotta check them out. I love these. Everything's all right. Still want more varied guard armors, personally. Just my luck. Stuck in the sticks here. <laughs> hey, what's mm -hmm. up, Brian? They were watching about a year ago? Yeah, it's probably been about a year since I've seen you again. last. Yeah, definitely carried by the modding community. I still see people playing vanilla. I'd say about 95% of people are not playing vanilla, though. Shouted him apart. I got rid of dynamic sprint stop, by the way. It was kind of getting annoying. I think it's OAR, though, so I could probably just... Can yeah. I get you something? Anyways. Well met. What can I do for you, stranger? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. The mouth movements look so realistic, actually. It's crazy. We're just selling stuff for money. Why not? That sound is so weird. It sounds like something from Fallout. <laughs> That's the Steal only sound I have to from fix. My shop and you'll regret it. And expert stuff is buggy. It's super weird, yeah. I've noticed the bugs recently, so I just I went away with it. A few mods I actually dropped today. Good riddance, honestly. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beer. roses and kind letters for keeping the game scene relevant. No, they'd rather just drop new updates and break everything. So they're doing quite the opposite. Sloomy slam. <laughs> Once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorikstead. 
That's true, Dargo. I feel like a lot of games have been disappointing lately, so... But then he look so it was an imperial plot, I tell you. I was young. Hold up. But I was encouraged what to can step I do for you? down. Shut the I hell up. Sides with the storm cloaks. Shush. Keep a song in your heart to ward off. Yep. I was Jarl once. But I was encouraged. Well, not against me, against all of Falkyrie. I can deal with the flute. I was imperial bat. Last night, I saw Laud the blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Mark my words, I'll be Jarl again someday. I just want to punch this guy. You hear any gossip in town? Lucan over in Riverwood says thieves broke into his store, but they hardly took anything. Starfield was damn sure a disappointment. I know some people who do like it. Why does everyone hate the bards? I don't hate the bards. Just right now, he was a little loud. I actually am kind of a bard myself, so not a hater. Be mindful. He's just so damn loud. My maid Tikla has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgear. Well, not against I don't want to talk to this guy, so. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Hate this guy? Yeah, this guy sucks too. Break into Lord's house and get that letter. No. Milk drinker. There. I like milk. Hi. Not so long ago. NPCs overhauled. Yes. Some will tell you That's I what I'm kind of working on right now. Old age. Truth is, I found out about all the Imperial spies <laughs> oh crawling around Falkreath. A few well-placed bribes, and they bought themselves some those friends. Exist. Suddenly, the nobles are calling for a new Jarl. And all the while, their pockets are jingling with the sound of Imperial Septons. They named me Thane. Not a fan of his hair. They got my nephew Sidgear in my place. A real friend to Cyrodiil, that one. Like what I said, Von Modpocalypse the gives them chaos hair, which... It's something I thought about changing from the start, honestly. NPCs are kind of hard to nail down. Especially after seeing Lorem's NPCs. You set a high bar, Biggie. A very high bar. Not a fan of the chaos hairs? Yeah. Which is an easy fix, thankfully, so I've been thinking the exact same thing. Just been too lazy to remove remove the mod in question, which is mod apocalypse. Eh, haven't been a big fan of of that one in general. The V3 version anyway. Sorry, I have to get a little crazy sometimes. Yeah, it doesn't look good on older people, especially males in general. Just looks super weird. Lost his password, so he won't be tuning into the streams anytime soon. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm glad you can make it, Sloomy Slam. Yes, what is it that you want? Work. I demand tribute before you can be considered for any real tasks. How about drink? None of that local. You better. I hate people who waste my time. Oh, I'm going to waste your time so hard. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. That's right. Smoke. <laughs> the Gen Z haircut. Bolin speaks much about the war and the His storm hair cloaks, is good. But he knows who provides. But it's not chaos. Get away from me. Shush. That's impossible because your time is worthless. Resplendent Royals. That's a good one. I like the name of that, actually. Never seen Gen Z with that haircut. I've never seen a Gen Z. What's a Gen Z?
thought they were mythical creatures. <laughs> oh wait, that's Gen Alpha. Sorry, I heard I heard flying Fred. Nope, not over here actually. Oh my gosh. Cross hair. You're too distracting. Get out of here. Right in my face. It's getting dark. I can't see. Gotcha. You missed. I can't see you though. Where'd you go? Oh gosh. There you are. Well, I'm putting shots in him. Yeah, who needs a crosshair? Crosshairs are just distracting, honestly. I saw the rock, don't worry. the other guy go? Did he fall? Gonna hit the hay? Have a good night, Sloomy Slam. Thanks for hanging out. Ooh, Pine Watch. There's probably a bear. Your Gen X, whatever that means. There's Gen Z, after that is Gen Alpha. Yeah, I'm I'm a millennial. Which everybody loves millennials. Right? Doesn't everybody love millennials? Honestly, I'm sure most of the demographic I have is probably millennials. Who knows? Aim is bad even with crosshairs. Honestly, I suck with the crosshair. I feel like I'm so much better at lining up shots without it. I know it sounds super weird. Gen X reporting for slacker duty. Look at those beautiful dragonflies. Wait, where'd it go? It just disappeared. He just said, nah, I'm out of here. Gen Z here. Nice. Well, welcome, Gen Z. I honestly just don't know, because I never think about Gen Z, Millennial, Boomer, whatever they call all that stuff, Gen X. As long as we're all here for Skyrim. And to just hang out and have fun. Is that too basic of an answer? I just genuinely feel that way. Silence. Shouldn't pose much of a problem. Ultimately, it doesn't matter as long as we all get along. But it is cool to see so many Gen Z people. Is it Gen Z or Gen Alpha that's the future? I think Gen Z are now adults, right? Most of them, anyway. You're adult Gen Z. You're ex. Gonna get cold tonight. A strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. I don't know how strong she is. I turned my HUD off. He 
Yeesh. It also doesn't help that it's so dark down here. Are you truly ready to die? No. I'll try and make this quick. <laughs> All I have is a bow. Stop that. And my dodging skills. Yeah. And you're a level 10. Ooh. Terrible shot. Your end draws near. <laughs> I deserve that. I deserve that. She's got that armor on. I'm so dead. Honestly, I should not be in Pine Watch right now. Hey, look, a button. Let's go down here. Bucket, you're in the way. <laughs> That's how it threw The bucket, it got in my way. The youngest gen people are 14. Oh, cool. An ex Enil. The best offense is good defense, true. I can't say I'm honestly too concerned about dying and stuff at the moment. How else am I going to just test if I worry about dying all the time? You young whippersnackers. I'm starting to feel that old now. Start calling people whippersnappers. Two thousand, even. Hey, gosh darn it! I think tomorrow I might be playing... I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow, but I'd really like to play more Lore Rim. I was going to play it today, but... I have a lot of testing to do. You realize I'm a Nord, right? Well, half Nord anyway. to them. Minimap? No. No minimap. Compass better. A generational mod. Boomers of Skyrim. Jeez. No, I don't like the minimap. You want to know why I don't like the minimap? Because it messes with performance. You want to lose five frames for no reason? Use the minimap mod. If you think I'm joking, try it. Download the minimap mod. Test it before and after. With FPS. Let me know how many frames you lose. Tell me if it's worth it. To be honest with you, even if I lose one frame with the minimap mod, it is not worth it. Because I'm not going to lose performance because of a stupid mod like that. That I don't need. I can press M and see my entire map. I don't need a mini map in Skyrim. Too distracting, anyways. You just like clean HUD? I like an ultimate immersion toggle. Honestly, I don't want to fight the jackal. Does it fit Skyrim? Yeah, no, the, the map, the mini map does not fit Skyrim at all. I agree, I tried it. Jeez. 
Jesus. Another victory. Someone do something. Do what? Oh, jeez. By the smear, you won't leave here alive. Get him. That's it. That's all. You no more. I yield. I what? yield. The wolf beat him. Oh, that's unfortunate for you, I guess. The horse is out of here. You leave the horse alone. Wolf killed him with cuddles. Just cuddled him. That's what it was. Gotcha. That mean I can take his stuff now? Quiet. Lost to a wolf. Must be playing Requiem on his end. Yeah, NPCs have Requiem. But just the NPCs. When trying to yield to animals. I'm not sure if that's something I could ever fix. Hey, what's up, wizard? It's Blake on a new channel. Yo, nice. It's going pretty good. How are you? What would you like me to call you, wizard or Blake? <laughs> or does it matter? I would just call you wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, there's a fall there. Under any orbs recently? Who doesn't like a good orb? Either is fine, okay. You're a wizard, Harry. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come back here, you invisible faced bastard. Immersion purists, right? right now i don't know who you think i am and i don't care leave me alone i don't have time for this foolishness now come along quietly and we won't have to get rough brother i think she's telling the truth I like twinsies i'm not going anywhere now back off before i do something Take some time to get used to that she doesn't have the scar same thing with yamazi what? yamazi changed their name i'm still having a hard time getting over calling them that instead of m1 Someday. So many floating beehives. The god RK was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence that we might That's better good. understand the vagaries of life. The Harry Potter reference. Oh yeah, my wife loves Harry Potter, so it's kind of stuck in my brain all the time. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Rune? Sorry, I'm just jamming out the to the music. <laughs> of He'll know the right blessings to make. I need to stop saying. Soul. I need to stop apologizing for nothing. Hey, what's up, Rochester? Harry Potter parodies, but not Harry Potter, which is strange. That is kind of strange, but that's okay. Thanks to the author. 
Yeah, that's fair. I get that. Thank you. I totally get that, All though. Right, For more interesting graveyards, has JK's patch, too. Ooh. I like the sound of that. I mean, I can at least check it out. Whoa. What? That's cool. That's interesting. I like that. No, I will not run loot. <laughs> There's a dinolon patch. Extract both the SSE, I and I. See, this is why you read. I'd rather not do that. Something to look into at the very least, you know? Can't, can't imagine Skyrim without it. I love JKs too. Ooh. I'll definitely check into it more. I'm not gonna download it right now, but I like the idea. Rin and JKs, agreed. Rin and JKs, top tier. Snozzes make some good stuff too. I mean, so many good mod authors make so many good things. Oh, Brunil. Do I... Dude's like right outside. Why couldn't he do that himself? It's like right there. Nerd. JK's great when it's not breaking your game? How does it break your game? Where did he go? Oh, he's over here. Uh -huh. Hey, Charlie Lincoln. Hello, you don't watch child. streams, but mine are chill, easygoing, and fun to watch. Hey, thanks, Charlie. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, he's literally right. He could have just delivered this himself. Ah, <laughs> Barrett's ashes. He was a good man. Not many words. So many, to a fine many patches. Age. True. Thank you for bringing this to me. It's always the case. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. Further my modding pursuits? Yeah. Yeah, we're over a thousand mods now. Getting closer to wanting to release an alpha. I'd say about a month away. I'm at the point where I really am just patching things. I'm not adding a ton of mods. Just adding little things that I like that are compatible with everything while I work on the big compatibility issues that I have currently. Because I don't want to release a crappy broken mod list. That's the last thing I want to do. Life is far too short, my friend. Don't waste it. Then crash? That's weird. That's super weird. That could be load order related too, but that's super weird. Mom says I'm getting a new mommy and daddy. So I'll have two of each now. I don't think so, but okay. Yes. Opium. <coughs> That's a question she looks I've good asked short hair for weeks now. Bruh but moment. Am I all right? <laughs> Will she be all right? Was it wrong New sword to come relentless. Here? Yeah, I was gonna actually check that out. I didn't, wait, JK made that? I thought it was JS. <sighs> I'm sick. I mean, it would be fine if it was just a cough. She's but... a 3D NPC. Well, my body hurts so much I can barely walk. I've already tried. I'd heard. I know now it's my destiny to die. That's why Archaea guided us here. It's an important lesson. One I. It's funny how the same hardship that makes us pray to the divines also makes us doubt them. Hmm. Safe I've, travels. I've considered removing them. I like them, but at the same time, they're very. They like to talk a lot. <laughs> I have to be
be in the right mindset to actually, you know, actually like actually speak with the 3D NPCs as much as I like them. Watergate mentioned, really? <laughs> yeah, John Skyrim, I think, was the one who made it. But I get it. It is it is definitely a difficult one to keep up with. S O S, J K J S. There's a lot. I definitely do not blame you whatsoever. Where's Lod? That's who I want to talk to. Amali? She's a good one. How's business today? I don't hate 3D NPCs. I, I just some sometimes I consider removing it. Here, have a look. Isabel. Yes, Lord. That's a work of art right there. Oh. Don't mind me, just third wheeling. You don't let my brother get to you. You're doing a fine job around here. Thank you, sir. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm loyal to Dengear first, and the Empire second. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. I guess that's what I'm focusing on too right now, our NPCs, so. Um. I think you'll want someone else, visitor. Doesn't fit the I voice. can't really help you. You're not as dumb as you look. Thanks, I guess. He's a good lad. My nephew has always been handed things. Even Probably the title of Yarl. Boy. But he's learning. There can only be one. Long-winded conversations, yeah. That, that's what I feel like too sometimes, Rochester. But thankfully, you could just walk away from them. That's why I just uh, haven't quite removed so. them yet. Skyrim's history of war is well documented here in Falkreath. Falkreath was once full of wander. Nowadays, unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. All right. Which, yeah, that's kind of, like I said, I'm I'm very on the fence about the whole thing. Honestly, removing 3D NPCs could be another one of those good things. Less NPCs to worry about patching. Just walk away. Exactly. I feel like you should be able to walk away from rude customers or people who won't shut up. Just do it. You don't get paid enough to deal with that kind of stuff. Only the followers? That would be cool. Oh, I forgot these guys still existed. Forgot I died from Pine Watch. Oops. Oh well. More time to practice my quick scoping skills. Those are headshots too, I think. Wait, what? I thought the other guy died. He must have just dropped him. There we go. One more shot, I think, for him. What was that? Once again, who needs a crosshair? Hello, bear. I'm gonna leave him alone. As long as he doesn't attack me, I won't attack him. Love graphic playlist, but honestly the dream is to have one that somehow patches all the DLC followers of gameplay things together. I'm not sure what you mean. But that would be interesting, I guess. Just not focusing on graphics at all. Just fixes all the other stuff. Oh, 
Might as well take the great sword. Sorry, my stomach's making weird noises. Hello, bear. Don't you do it. Leave me alone. Sheesh. Weird animation lockup. got trees in your way, dude. Like, no, I'm good. You know what's weird? They kind of remind me more of gorillas. With this one. I do like them, though. They're cool. Oh, I forgot that doesn't work in first person. <laughs> Oops. just ran into the rocks. Oh gosh. So smart. Follow one has a lot of graphics followers and quests. Yeah. Also heard good things about do not go gentle. Which I don't know. Isn't that a requiem list? Everything is just crazy nowadays. Is jet taking off? Wait, what? You tolerate retail j jobs? That yeah, seriously. I've never had a real retail job. I'm very thankful to have the sort of job that I do have, so I don't have to deal with people. Bandit woman of the hammer. Well, I am a woman with a bow. <laughs> I don't have any cool names. Oh, wait in water. You're stuck. You're pathetic. See, I'm telling you, the crosshair. It's messing with me. Let's see what you've got. I'll have your head on a bike. What if I shoot you in the head first? Uh, no, not like this. Oh, you're still alive. You're trying to pull tricks on me. You're a sea store clerk. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that sounds like an absolute nightmare, Fiona. Didn't just tank your arrow. How do you fall over? Archery locational damage. If you hit him with a headshot... Actually, I think it's neck up. You have a chance of knocking them down. Yeah, I'm glad you don't do that kind of work anymore, Fiona. Here's her scene. Might have to move this tree, though. That one tree is kind of blocking the way, isn't it? Just the one. Check up from the neck up. That's awesome. I wish I could work from home. Yeah, that's that's super cool. I'm happy for you. Working from home. If you're a self-starter, it's a great job. I if that's an enemy or not, actually. I would assume so. Oh no. 
It's another headless cat. You have something to say. Yeah, you have well, no head. Your breath. The way I see it, you don't well, you have do. Much it's just invisible. Left. Be gone, then. You draw smut for Patreon as well. Hey, I like smut. I guess it just depends. I like reading, reading smut. That's about it. Yeah, just a few invisible cat heads I've noticed. Which I'm hoping is an easy fix. Yeah, the world really does love that kind of stuff too, so I'm sure if you can make money on it, that's, that's a pretty big win. Is that Skuma? Oh. oh, it's a minor healing potion though. Someone there? Yeah. Over here. Oh, I just know one of them's an archer. They can knock me down, too. <laughs> Think you can take me? Oh my gosh. Heading to bed? Have a great night. Disclo, Tell thanks for what, hanging. You start running so I can stab you in the okay, we're going back to first person for archery. See? That's why headshots in my game That's your best, huh? are going to be very rewarding. Uh. See, if I shoot him in the body... Okay, let's shoot him in the leg and see what happens. I can take you. It kind of still not, doesn't knock him down, but it, it staggers them. It's only a really light chance that they have. I think it's 25% chance with a headshot. Uh. Oh my gosh. One in both. Oh my gosh. I got one in both eyes. Sorry, that's crazy. What's smut? Smut is like dirty stuff, Rochester. Like sexy stuff, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. Smut is just like dirty. Yeah. Stage actor full time, suit tailor part time. Only issues are one people telling you your performance was wonderful, and mothers who want you to craft a full suit the day before their son's prom. Jeez, my wife does stuff like that too. Uh, she doesn't t she doesn't like a tailor, but she does sew and she she does all that stuff. So I'm sure she could definitely understand people who want stuff. Like, I can't do that in a day. Are you crazy? <laughs> Make them limp after? That'd be interesting, actually, Charlie. I like that. It was not her day. She tanked the first one, though. It's Well, it's, um, it's armor-dependent, too, right? So if they're wearing heavy armor, they're more protected against the shots. Versus if they're wearing light armor, they're going to be a lot more prone to you know actually getting knocked over think of it a bit like requiem in that sense i guess in this case i guess armor is going to be you know if you want the extra protection from the armor so that you don't get destroyed from archers Try wounds with the wounds animation mob. I've never heard of that one. Disaccord.
I'm gonna put those two arrow mods into your reserve for next play the folder. Nice! Hell yeah, Charlie. I am... <laughs> Disaccord. Sorry, that's a good one. Disaccord. That accord. Everybody loves Honda Accords, right? <laughs> oh, anyways, yeah, I'm I'm very much into archer, archery stuff. So if you need any archery mod suggestions, just let me know. She draws sexy stuff. Yes, I believe that's what she is saying. Yes. stuff like that I need to fix. Little stuff like this I need to fix eventually. Thankfully I got this working properly. who tastes are questionable as your own. Nothing wrong with that. It's one thing to have questionable taste. There are lines, obviously, but there's nothing wrong with being into weird stuff or, or what have you. Just the obvious stuff that's like we don't need to talk about because that's just weird. That sounds like a good gig, yeah. If I could draw, I would definitely do that too. Because that sounds like fun. That's like a fun outlet. I mean, to draw stuff like that. Plus, I mean, it's kind of crazy. Mm, never mind. Archer in 2011 when the game released. Always look for ways to improve it. Well, Nika Roshi's weapon, or, you know, weapons replacer, I guess you could say. Nika Roshi's weapons. Or bows. You know, bowgasm. Well, that's the wind howling. I highly recommend Nico's mods. Gosh dang it. Like the wind is just too loud. It's good to see that all the weathers look consistent and nice though. Hey, what's up Natalie? How are you? sitting here in Photoshop. I love Photoshop, actually. And if it pays the bills, that is so, so cool. More power to you. And Nikoroshi Creations. Bowgasm is the big one. If you like good sounds for your bows, I use a bows whisper. So like the drawing sounds. Oh, you can't hear them. I wonder if that's the weapons tab. You can still really not hear them. sounds right here. I 
like the drawing pullback animations and the release sound. Like the rattling of the quiver. And then you hear those sounds are good. It's called a bow's whisper. Just a sound mod. Hit the kitty. Wait, you saw a cat? Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. Oh, I love those things. Yeah, you definitely like Nico's stuff if you like Lord of the Rings. I agree. Hey, what's up, Marcel? I'm going pretty well. How about you? Oh, where's that? I thought it was over here. Am I crazy? I am crazy. I've lost kitty conditioning. Oh, right. This sound. Gotcha. Now I have to fix it. Okay, I'm actually- I've been sitting here for four hours without a break. I'm gonna take a quick break. We'll play for a little bit longer. I just can't believe I haven't taken a break yet, and I need one, so... The rain? What about the rain? You want the rain? It looks weird in the snow, but that's okay. Oh, the rain sounds... True storms. Yes, a bow's whisper. That's the one I just recommended. Thank you. I was just showcasing it. Hey, what's up, Evan? Sorry, I was just about to take a quick break, so I will be right back, but I hope you're doing awesome today, Evan. Evan, Evanson, sorry. I know an Evan in real life, so... Nah, you get this weather. Yeah, thank you, Gears. It must be perfect. Let me up. Okay, right back. Will it hit the corner? Let's see.
see. Is it gonna hit? Nah. Nope. Still a few. Oh, it might hit this one actually. Is it gonna? No, nope, not quite. So close. We're just gonna do this. No, actually. Promotion thing, yeah, get that word out there. Sure. That was the bottle. Oh, there was something that... I want to play. Not right now, obviously. This. We're going to start playing this on stream a little bit, so let me know if this is something you want to see more of. Maybe we'll do a whole GeoGuessr stream. White Run? It's definitely White Run. You could tell it's the Tundra almost right away. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. I see dragons. Oh gosh, this thing is weird. I played it on the phone a little bit, but it's different on the computer. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know exactly where I am. No, what? Show me the full thing. What? It's going to be so difficult to guess it like this. Precisely, anyway. I can't see the road. Anyways, it's somewhere over here. Sorry. But close. Nah, still a thousand feet. But anyways, we should totally play this. On stream. Yeah, past the bandit hideout. Oops, see, that thing is super strange. Get out of here. Oh, I think I know where this is too, actually. I know where this is. Wait, more looks fun? Heading to Rorkstead, yeah. This. Actually, wait, no, this isn't what I'm thinking. There's an Imperial camp over here. You think it's near Winterhold? If it's near Winterhold. I was thinking more of near the Reach. Oh, wait, no. Wait a second. You know what's also weird about this? It's all vanilla. Oh, I forget what this bandit camp is. The pale, that's what I was thinking. Where you meet that Delmore spy? Probably this guy right here. In question. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it's somewhere over here. I could be wrong. Oh, you can zoom in. That's actually very handy dandy. He's just as an Imperial captain. Of Windhelm, huh? Okay, let's see. Of the mill in Windhelm. Talk about this mill. I don't think it's this guy up here. 
But the cool thing is, is you can move around. It does look like Windhelm, actually. Oh, you're totally right. GG. That's over here. Great job. So I needed to be just a little bit further over. Nice. That's that was super good. Kajit. Well, this is easy. <laughs> this is this one's too easy right here. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that one's really easy. Where exactly are we? We're by this little bush. Like how the Khajiit is just in the ground. There's this little cart here. Does it show the cart? It shows the bush. I'm trying to see if I can get exactly where we're standing. Which I think is right here. Right on the curve next to those trees. Zero meters away. Four meters away. Yeah, that's too easy. There's some really good ones, though. Hey, what's up, zombie robot? How are you doing? Oh, that's the pail, too, right? Be close to Dawnstar. That's Dawnstar over here. Yep. So this is Dawnstar. Does it show the boat? Isn't that the boat right there? A drag. I saw a drag. It's weird. Yep, there's the Dragon Burial Grounds. So we're like right here, I think. Right next to that little camp. Like right here? I don't really need to worry too much about exact... Oops. The tower. Yes. Look at the water. Okay. Oh. It's kind of hard to tell right now. The fishing shack, yeah, gives it away a little bit. Yeah, good to hear you're doing good. You got gifted two memberships, it looks like, since you've been gone. Just right outside of the Mara Pond. Ooh. Eye of Mara Pond. That looks like Windhelm. A lot of them in Windhelm. Since you've been gone. Yep. Exactly. I'll be honest, it's really hard to tell with vanilla sometimes.
Okay, it definitely is. I wonder if it'll count me in this location specifically, or if I have to be in the original spot. Probably have to be in the original spot. There's that. So I'm like right in this spot, I think. Didn't do too, do too bad, honestly. Cool, we're gonna do that more. Okay, sorry, I, I had to go through that. At least a little bit. So if you want more GeoGuessr, could totally do that kind of thing someday. It's kind of fun, actually. find out how I can change this. I'm gonna use it though. I don't care. I'm gonna use it right now. Super hacks though. Fix the paraglider? Yeah. So we good then? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that was pretty cool. We did really good. I think it's just compared from a points perspective, so there's probably leaderboards and stuff. And there's multiplayer too, so we can play it together. We can play it together too, if you want. Maybe we can start it up in the Discord or something? Or I'll do a live stream of it just to test. There's multiplayer. I had to do that, sorry. On the iron brakes, that's a good idea. This is a grand idea, actually. Thought I heard something. I can take it. This is the end for you. Never seen that. You have never seen that? Oh, the GeoGuessr thing? You just type in- I could give you the website link if you want. That was actually recommended by Valky. Sorry, I'm trying to remember where to go to get up to the platform. I think it's up here. Wait a second. No, that's not it. It looks like Helgen, actually. Weirdly enough. No, this is one of those... I haven't come across one of those in forever. It's one of those no-cross zones. The sick kiddo. Hey, thank you so much, zombie, and good luck. And I hope your kiddo feels better. Hugs and head pats right back. 
Always appreciate seeing you. So crunchy. The snow is so crunchy. to be, I think. Yes, this is it. Oh, I still don't have footprints. I just realized. No footprints mod yet. This is it here. Enough time. Ooh, have a good night. Appreciate it, Amali. Whoa. Listen to all the sounds of those things. Gotta check sometimes. Never know. <laughs> Tariel's Gale. Don't forget. I need that. Actually, that sound is so weird. You're not cold now? Oh, yeah, that's true. I set myself on fire so I don't be. I'm not cold anymore. Well, thankfully, as a Nord, a little bit of cold never hurt us, right? The sound is so distracting. This is the only place you'll ever hear those little things anyway, so... Shards. I love that echo. Except it, you can hear the loop now with it. It's okay, I don't think I'm keeping the crow anyways. I 
I do love the crow sound, though. Hello. I knew it. I just came to say hi. What level is she? This is level twelve. I'll pass. I do love the rock Karens, though. The evil ones, especially, are my favorite. So creepy. Oh, we still have the normal ones, too. A cool place to stumble on, though. Dang cat hair, sorry. So I just got this sword. Turn this towards me. Please don't kill me. This is a mod I downloaded, so I'm Going to glad to see it. Killing you. She looks strong, actually. Part of the reason I'm a bit torn with the paraglider sometimes too is the fall damage. It'd be a bit broken. I mean, I could just use soft landing mode and in magical jumping if I wanted to. Some ASMR. Well, ASMR is pretty cool, so I will take it. I've been wandering alone for so she long, I thought good. I'd never see another soul again. I, I was kidnapped by these bandits we weeks ago. We should test Mistwatch, They locked actually. me up in the tower. I managed to pick the lock and slip out while the guard slept. But now... Oh, thank you. you. But I should be... F they're at Mistwatch. If you can stop them, you'll be a true hero. Where's Mistwatch? We should go check that place out, actually. Should we fly? Not enough matchka. Show you. Oh, that's right. The crow is so freaking loud, though.
can't believe we haven't discovered Riverwood yet. I'm taking the arrows. I want them back. Even though they look broken, get out of my way. Delphine? The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. We got rooms and food. Did you hear Drink me? too. Yep. Don't ale's care. Going See bad. ya. What when was swaking that lady's hair? Oh, was that happening indoors too? SMP, those SMP hairs specifically. The vanilla hairs replacers. I might just uh, un SMP them, honestly. Hey, no fair. Get us or adjust them so they're not so strong with the wind. Come Is Delphine's hair all messed up? The fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. His hair isn't. Well, his hair is SMP, but it's not blowing in the wind. Maybe it was the lady outside you were talking about. You're that visitor, Ben, poking around. Skyrim is a windy area, okay? It's very windy. Do I not have the correct file for this? Oops. Or is it getting messed up by a cube map? Can't even turn that off anyways. That's what they're supposed to look like. They look all warpy and weird. to mist watch from here i think i can yes okay notice my own hair is calm in skyrim's wind like i said i think it has something to do with that specific hair smp i forget what that one's called it's the it's the most recently updated one like i said though i think i can actually tweak that Oh, that was a good shot. Mm. Will this break the animation? Oh, it will. Perfect. I have to change that. The crow is so loud. Your column in all winds. Hey, what's up, Karn? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I feel grab something really quick. grab the original. Actually, you know which one I really like? If I can find it.
this one. Alright, let's let's uh, go back into the game with the crow. I had to get rid of that. I mean, I love the crow. I just couldn't listen to it. <laughs> Location is Nexus. Yes, the most visited place in Skyrim. Exactly. <laughs> you are not wrong about that at all. I guess the location. <laughs> yeah, we were playing a little bit of GeoGuessr earlier, which is fun. What's the objective of the game? Just to guess the location you're in. I think there's more difficulties. You know, just try to get as close to the location you are as soon as possible. Or, yeah, there's there should be time limits actually you can use too. So try to guess the... See who can get to the closest of where their location is. You know, it'll tell you based on how many feet you get closest to your marker. But you can add time limits. You can make it more difficult. And just to see who gets the most points. That's I think that's the whole point of GeoGuessr. Just remove the sound files. Yeah, I could just do that. Just right now I want to play. And I guess I didn't think about that. Just weird how loud they are now with the the reverb and stuff added, which is cool. It's just cool how it amplifies that sound. Yeah, you make a good point. I could just hide them. The thing is, is I don't want to hide them either because I like the crow sounds. I think I would just have to adjust the volume. So I don't necessarily want to get rid of them. It's hard to play without the, the flapping when it opens and the crowing as it glides. But I have some mods that are affecting it and making it really reverberation, making them really reverberate. It's an ecro. <laughs> Be tough based on mods, true. Okay, we're back. Straight in the water. Okay. Watches our streams. Oh gosh. At least I don't curse very often. Jeez. Really need to lower the requirements on magical jumping. Oh yeah, I have done it before with other sounds. I've used audacity to edit the sound. See, this one's really loud too. What if I can just exclude this sound from that mod? Let's do this for now. I like the Skyrim logo too, though. New musician, you. Whole family watches and plays Skyrim. That's super cool, though. Yeah, Audacity is free. True. Right now, the only thing I can think about is going into X Edit and making Sky Shards permanently what I want it to be. Times five. With angry curse words. I can only imagine if you were sitting there holding on to the crow for that long, it would get a little upset and want to curse at you.
those darn ice lods, whatever, sea fighting, the bane of my existence. Bane of my existence. Sorry, I forgot how to speak. I forget how to do the speak sometimes. Watching on a flat screen TV. Yeah, we're going big time. I forget who says it. I think it's... I think it's Blue Neptune. Watches on a giant TV. Wouldn't be surprised if I'm on a few TVs. That honestly... Just the thought of that, just the thought of having as many people as we have in the stream sometimes these days is crazy to me. The Jolly Roger texture? What are you talking about? Like from Banjo-Kazooie? The only thing I can think of when I hear Jolly Roger is Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know why. Right down everything or change them as you find them. I do both usually. I have a handy dandy phone or notebook at my side at all times to write things down if I need to. Uh, the flag on, on paraglider? What about it? Oh, I see. The Jolly Roger flag on the paraglider. It took me a second to connect those. Sorry. My apologies. Let's see if we can mimic that one spot where we were sitting with GeoGuessr and see the difference. When we play Lore Rim here, I think that's when we hit about 40 viewers. I don't know, the rocks might not let me go there. like way over here run what is is that a raccoon that is straight up a raccoon We were like right here with that geo guesser we were standing right here oops i did actually oh i really did didn't i oh ouch I don't know, because I can't really hear much of the game right now. No. Oh. What was that? What'd you say? I'm telling you, the headshots... They're worth... Just remember, they hurt you too, just as much. If those bandits get headshots on you, they're pretty devastating. Oh my gosh! Just a series of unfortunate events. I can still do this stuff, but I can't. <laughs> Look at that! The Beyblade attack. <laughs> Hey, I appreciate the help. I really do. 
It's a little bandit. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. The kill cam was pretty sick, I agree. Hey Anzac, what's up? How are you today? So this was that location we were at with, with GeoGuessr. Imagine if we did like a before and after in game. Just to see how much different it looks. Yeah, hello Natalie. I saw you earlier. I thought I said hello. Hope you're doing well tonight. I'm doing all right. Can't complain. Just enjoying Skyrim. Looking at the difference between modded and unmodded. I'm definitely not noticing seams at all. Definitely don't see seams anywhere. What are you talking about? I say these things like I'm going to ignore them, but I'm not. Oh, it wasn't a seam. I think. Thankfully, that was not the case. Be good to wait. Hey, I don't mind at all. If they overlap sometimes, it happens. It can be different, you know, with new moderators too. I haven't actually made somebody a moderator in quite some time, so... Yesterday was just a bit of an emergency, so... <laughs> sometimes that's how it happens. Doesn't always happen that way, but it, I think it's happened once or twice. I'm always thankful that people are even willing to help, though. The GeoGuessr. Well, we're definitely probably going to do a GeoGuessr specific stream, and I'll let people who are in the Discord be a part of the multiplayer stuff, I think. Is he healing? Okay, he is slowly healing, but he's very cheesed and stuck currently. There we go. Gotta give him a chance. Hey, that's a tree. I'm over here. Are you blind? Don't you have like three eyes or something? Ooh, that was close. These dodge roll things are actually super fun. Doing the gang the gangdom style. How do you say that? Gangnam style? Yeah, he likes the tree. I don't know what what's up with the tree thing. Wish you could have been here for the tree, I guess. Oh, I already read that. Sorry, sometimes I read things twice. The dodges, yeah. If you're good enough, if you're skilled enough, I think the dodging is going to actually come in handy. It's not too OP. At least it doesn't feel OP. I can still easily catch up with you. Is there anything else of value up here?
Skyrim series. Yeah, his Skyrim series is super wild. Watching his stuff is always really fascinating to me. Oh, it's the same person from Nico's stream. Huh? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, it could have been. You never know. You never know who's behind it. Here's. More movement options. Yeah, I like I said, it just doesn't feel OP at all. Maybe not. Maybe to me it doesn't feel OP. Bow rapid combo can be OP if you use it out of the box with the bow charge and stuff. You have to wait till level 60 archery though to get it. I was gonna say, I can't be right. It's good to make sure that everything with Vokrinator isn't too OP as well. There's so many perks to choose from, it's outrageous. Oh, you must have to choose a specific one first. I see. Cool. So many, it's crazy. Like at the very least being able to dodge more with the bow is extremely important, you know? Sorry the game's too quiet right now. I don't know why we're going to Soul's time. I gotta check everything. Look at the Silt Striders. So gorgeous. So foggy. Yeah, Solstheim is awesome, especially in my game. I feel like it's it's looking pretty good. It's one of my favorite locations. So I'm gonna try to give it all of the love. Don't care. Must be an ash storm right now. Or a little one. There we go. 
Death it broke right in, yeah, for sure. Well, and here's what my... I mean, Quint Raven Rock is just so cool looking. Some weird little break there. That's probably my favorite thing right here, actually. Got a little niche floating by. Let's just hope he doesn't wrench. Yeah, turning off the sandstorm. Hey, I wanna, sh I wanna show off. Actually, that looks so beautiful, though. What's wrong with eating pumpkins? Nothing. Pumpkins are so good. Pumpkin pie? Come on. That's what I wanted to show off. Check out the raven. He's like the protector of the city. I love them too. Yeah, especially in pie form. I agree. It just looks so cool. The like Eagle Rock near Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, you can see the Silt Strider in the... Okay, this is just such a good picture. It's a crab. See an evil crab? Oh, what? Huh? He has a name. That's awesome. They abandoned us long ago, so your contacts are meaningless here. My slods, thanks. I I am a huge fan of Dyndalod. Huge. Oh, you look so cool. My husband Bendel feared visitors would shun Raven Rock. An I'm ash crab, yep. No, that sound is currently pretty loud. Honestly, the lods here are not anywhere near as impressive as what you would see in, you know, Skyrim. But I'm a huge, huge fan of Dindalod. I've ran it thousands of times probably at this point. Sheezen has taken my firstborn so that I may learn the the ways of dying a lot. Oh, gross.
ultimate immersion. Oh, you have armor. Oh no, not the ash hopper. That's right, fight each other. Oh yeah, I am totally dead here. No chance. Striding Silt Strider. Save me. Honestly, for now, I'm just going to do this. We're hitching a ride. See you later, nerds. Port computer? Yep. This port computer gets beat up. But it's all for the cause, I swear. <laughs> I love riding on the Silt Striders. The fact that this wasn't a vanilla feature to me is just unbelievable. You should just be able to do this. You know? 2011. The game came out in 2011, so it is what it is. I don't really care about the Skyrim fairies, but Silt Striders roaming around Solstheim, that is cool. It's been a hot minute, for sure. Okay, well you said lods. Now I have to go check out the lods a little bit. <laughs> That's a new mod too. Striding Silt Striders. You can pass on the fairies. Yeah, I've been a bit on the fence still about the fairies. I could probably remove some that I don't like. Okay, now we're really gonna show off some lods. This is why you run Dyndalod, right here. This is why you have a paraglider too. Look at all those grasses. Look at all that grass. Didn't even know it could do this level a lot. It can't. But Dyndalod can. Thank you, Shizen. You are a wonderful person. And honestly, anyone else who was behind... You know, the creation of Dyndalod. I think... I think... Dar Dragon's Dogma 2 might be getting a lot of unnecessary hate. People seem to be enjoying it. I guess I kind of understand where the hate's coming from. But honestly, I think the hate can be a bit unnecessary. Looks bad, yo. Well, thanks. Oh. just never get over those lods, ever. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. And when you do see it without, it's like, oh. Like that one meme. Ugh. Brother, ugh. <laughs> you use Wobjack installer? Yeah. 
That's why I called it the Wabashot. <laughs> no, I mean... I know it's hard to unsee it. But there's still a lot of beauty in the game without these things, so... It's all about what the mind sees. I can look at Skyrim in vanilla and still see beauty. So. It is hard to match. Once you can see infinite grass, it is very hard to match that. Look at those diverse mammoths. Aren't they so cute? Oh, you're fine. I'm just admiring you. <laughs> My own list? Yep, this is the Wabashat. Something I'm currently working on. To release as a Wapajack. Although I would like to change the name. Wapashot stuck, so I'm sticking with it. Hm. Now you know why I like the tundra so much. We still get these ones too from Conj. Hey, thanks, Karn. It is very, very hard work. But it's fun. I enjoy it. It's not even work. Using the four letter word is just wrong. I take back what I said. It's very fun. I enjoy what I do very much. I'm passionate about it. And calling it work is just wrong. Just a lot of time and effort. You know? Oh, physics. Thank you. I've always had microtransactions just as well as DD2. If they're not intrusive, I don't care about microtransactions. As long as I can still play the game the way it's intended to be played, then I don't care. Talos be with you. All the trees? Oh, are you talking about like forest trees in the tundra? I do like the forests. Me personally. I prefer the tundra to be a tundra. But still lush and green. I still like the brown grasses though too, so QW's grass just does a wonderful job. It just hits the right notes with me. Is it floor perspective? Just preference. I like the trees. You go play Nico Experience. I love the forests in Nico Experience. I just prefer having a nice open tundra. With added things, of course. There's something about the openness of it all that I really enjoy. It makes it feel big to me. I know some people don't like it from the lore perspective. Lore thing, like lore friendly doesn't bother me with this list especially. If I want to play lore friendly, 
I think we all know where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go play Lore Rim. It's that simple. Up here you say nowhere. Yeah. It's a fair opinion. Me, I'm just not super opinionated on one or the other. I like them both. Why have one when you can have both? With a Wabajack, I can play the Nico experience. Or I can play the Lore Rim. Or I can play Wabashop. So I can really have the best of any worlds. Oh, hello. Very cute. Ouch. Hey. Temperamental. Much. Overwhelmingly positive. Just monthly hate target. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. The hate. Really, Dragon's Dogma never really hit the the tone for me like Skyrim did, so I don't even honestly know if I'd I mean, I like Dragon's Dogma. I just don't know if it's what I'm looking for in a game, necessarily. You know? Wait, Trends of Sky Skyrim? It's called Swift. S-W-I-F-T. Skyrim Way Shrines. Something fast travel, I think. Have room for Wapshot also? Hey, I, I, that's why I'm mo so motivated to get this done, because I know a lot of people are looking forward to playing it, which is kind of crazy to think about. And I'm looking forward to sharing it. It's like when you released your list, I can only imagine the the feeling you got when you saw me play it for the first time, or somebody, or, you know, Pixelnate playing it for the first time. The amount of smiling I bet you did that day was just like, ow, my face hurts. <laughs> Use an enemy leveler. Um, I was messing with Skyrim unleveled, but really... The only thing I use would be skill uncapper or Skyrim level uncapper, I forget what it's called at the moment. And Maro Loot. Maro Loot Ultimate. And things like Mihail's creatures and monsters. Animalica. OBIS. Eventually I think I'll add roguelike encounters too. So I want to make the world more difficult and challenging. Just not over the top. To the point where I can't even explore the world without dying every five seconds, you know? Yeah, Skyrim skill on Capper. I don't, my brain was just blinking. Hey! Same, Karen. Sorry, I keep wanting to call you Karen, but it's Karn. My apologies. Anyways, have yourself a wonderful night. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, this is Rorikstead. SXP? Yeah, I use Maro Loot MLU with Uncapper. The raccoons, yeah, the raccoons were, were from Animalica, much like quite a few other of those animals we just saw, too. And this one, too, the Bobcat. So things like that are going to make the game more difficult, but not unmanageable. Holy grass. I mean, it just looks endless. You can see it that far away. This is why LODs are important to me. Oh, Skyrim experience. Yes. Sorry. Didn't see never seen that abbreviation before, so yes, I definitely use Skyrim experience and static skill leveling. 
rewritten. You know what's funny? I saw static skill level experience add-on. The author's name was Rookmeister. I do believe we have a Rookmeister that shows up in stream, but it's spelled differently, I believe. I'm kind of wondering if it's the same person. Forgive my distraction. I saw the, diff the diverse cows that are shell textured and the diverse goats. Hey! Pax! That is not how you eat the wheat, buddy. Well, that just makes it worse. You might want to get down. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over here now? him. This place is so cool. GG77's goats are great. Look into them. I just like diversity. So as long as they're all different colors, not all different colors, just you see different ones throughout the lands. Next time we meet, do you think maybe you could and seeing shell texturing, that makes me happy too. You know why they call me Iron Shot? At least a little bit. I don't need a crosshair or target lock. Oh, there is a crosshair actually there. Those beautiful natural waterfalls. Does it get better than this? Can it get better than this? Probably, actually. I say that thinking that maybe this is peak. That's never the case with Skyrim, it feels like. Nailed it! Too quick. Let's see how I do in first person compared. Way off. Just 
Just standing there. You'll have to forgive me, I get a little bit silly sometimes trying to shoot things that are way too far away. One of these days I'll get a kill cam. Ooh, that was really close. <laughs> You're silly. Hey, it's been a long stream. I'm allowed to be silly. Yeah, I give up. I think we all do that sometimes. Probably. That's just natural Skyrim play right there. I've hit some pretty impressive shots, but I've seen some videos where people have hit some really impressive shots. Like sickening shots. No, me first, Saber Cat. Just wasting Fat's arrows. That's what we're doing. Shame. Or shame. You unpredictable butthead. Playing with death. No, don't move. Oh. Was off anyway. Is it here this time? It's actually sticking in the, the post finally. But it says it's down here, but it's still sticking in the post. Okay. Yeah, I do the platforming thing, too. Just what I like to do lately. It's hard for me to get into a character with Baba Shot currently, so... I just use Runa as an excuse to explore the lands. There's a word for that though, I think. Probably part of the rogue experience too. I don't know, rogues are a bit more questy. I can't honestly think of the word. Not wanderer. Just kind of lives off the land. Explorers. I'm an adventurer. <laughs> yeah, usually it's in the log. Sometimes it'll just be on the, the, the ground. It happens. Havoc is definitely to blame there. Let's take the boat. We now it's piloting itself. Wait, piloting? That's not correct. Ground shattering tech max out world's computing power epic. All of the buzzwords. 
I love the way the Falmer arrows look, by the way, Nico. So cool. Almost looks like fly wings or something. I mean, they probably are some sort of creature's wings. That's one of your better ideas. That's cool. I love the quiver, too. Actual dragonfly. Actually, dragonfly is sweet. It's kind of clipping right now. love the blue. It's so pretty. With added noise. Tiny dots to make them look like see-through wings. Yeah, that's so cool. It's all about those little details. Oh, I can see what you're saying now, actually. That's cool. I see exactly what you're saying. The added noise. Yeah, that's really smart. Twisted spiked cone. Oh, that's cool. She looks so good with the bow in her hand, too. Look at how accurate the bow is. I found a mod that fixes that so it actually shows it right on the money. If anybody wants to know that mod for archery, let me know. I always had an issue where it didn't line up with the bowstring all the way, so... Mod, please? I was gonna say, I know you like that one. Oh my gosh, it's not archery tweaks. It's this one. From Skypea. Yeah, see, this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. It's from Skypea, of course. Go figure. <laughs> much, much better. Yeah, like I said, it used to not line up. And now it does. Also, this bridge is not a wooden bridge, so it does keep some of them normal. Although I would love to see this one base object swap too. I wonder if I could do that myself. actually uses an anchor point. Is that what we're talking about? It actually uses a proper anchor spot. It's just so satisfying to see it actually right dead center. Ooh. Mindy thanks you. Nice. This looks good. Look at that parallax. But I'm glad I could help. Us archers, we gotta stick together. Uh oh, I found 
to break. Oh, damn it, Spaghetti's Towns. <laughs> I'm just gonna remove spaghetti towns anyway. I guess if I have to fix the table, it's not a big deal. You might need it. Well, good luck, Evanson. Have a good night. This is probably where I should call it a night, too. We've had a lot of fun, so. Ooh, that's pretty. Well, as per usual, I have lots of things to fix. But we get closer and closer. So, yeah, I'm excited to hopefully get this out to y'all in at least a month or so. Lots of work to be done, though, so I'm not going to rush. Just finished up work for the night. Oh, jeez. It's been a long stream, almost six hours, so no crashes today, thankfully. Have a great night, Michael. Thank you so much for hanging out. Fiona, have a great night. Gears, have a great night. Python, thank you. Have a wonderful night. Nico, have a good night. I'll check out that link now. Nice. Good picture. Great pictures, actually, here. Alright, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I appreciate you very much. If you did enjoy, please hit the like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next stream. Or sooner. You never know. Have a good night. Until next time. I shout out.